When he 180'd his political sh he lost, like, everything doing this. So I can't believe I missed so much Mike lore! I could've been fucking roasting the whole time for this sh Mike from PA is getting on. Hello. Ah, uh, Mike from the memes begin. Here we go. You're, uh, Am I in trouble, Destiny? No. Okay. I don't give a. F I've done dumb sh in my past. I don't really care. Um. So when I ask you these questions, I'm not trying to like hang you on anything or like. Oh sh. Bring, yeah, okay. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just. I'm genuinely just curious. Okay. And I understand that your past views aren't your current views or anything, right? Did you ever at one point believe that like former fascist? and notice how former is in quotes, because what he's really getting at is that I'm still a fascist. Even though I was never even a fascist to begin with, but no, to this guy, I'm, I'm still this crazy fascist, even though I never really was a fascist. I mean, I was pretty, pretty right wing, but I don't know if I would consider myself a fascist. This is why if you were out there doing anti-SJW compilations two years ago, shut the fuck up and learn for a bit. I called out Mike from PA a little while ago when he claimed that he was against charity when Vosh raised a bunch of money to help Palestinian children. He's still salty because he's made this video on me and uh, he mentions the fact that I like called him out. Good. Multiple times. It, I think it's I think it's eating him to away. A little topic that I saw pop up. Uh huh. Pop up on my. Uh... On my timeline, right, right when I was uh, preparing for the stream. What is he? What do people do when they say like preparing for the stream? What the fuck are you doing, Chief? Like the only preparation you do is staring at Hassan to see when he goes live or logs off, so you know when to turn your stream on. It was so fucking cringe, cringe, <laughs> that I had to reply. Oh no, he deleted it. If you thought it was a bad take and then I deleted it, wouldn't you kind of be? Like, glad overall that I took the takedown. Redacted writes Hassan in every stream title. Wait, what? No way is that real. Wait, I don't see Hassan in every title. Here's Hassan versus CGG, breaking South Africa riots. You're baiting hard. I'm glad he listened to me. I'm glad he listened to me and shut the fuck up. Oh, wait. So am I a rat for deleting it? Or am I legit for deleting it? Because I listen to you. When you are a gamer gator, like this Hunter Avalon, Little little fucker. I was not a gamer gator, just to be honest. Uh, just to be clear, I didn't do stuff involving gamer gate. I think I was wasn't that in 2014 when that happened. I was still on the cusp of like the gamer gate, gamer gate hype. But this is just the beginning of many inaccuracies, and we're gonna get into all of it and more. If you're okay pledging, so he said, okay, he deleted the tweet. Oh, I should have taken a picture. Fuck. I didn't realize he was gonna. He was gonna cave so hard immediately. Oh my what god. What is it? Wait, is it good that so I took it down? Is it because I got it from is it Oh, did he delete that? Good. I owned him. I should like oh my god, like chill. Holy shit. Almost as if you were exposed by me. Like And nobody cares! It's almost like you're sexist! It's almost like you've been exposed right fucking now by me. QED! End of debate! <laughs> His eyes constantly look like he's scanning chat for validation. Good, because I'm influenced from you. Apparently, I took your good advice. Or are you mad that I took it down because I caved to the pressure or something? I'm Hunter Avalon. I don't know if you guys have ever, have ever seen this person before. Um, he was famous as one of the biggest gamer gators. I'm not sure what so that he, means. So he gained prominence as one of the biggest gamer gators on YouTube. In fact, he was working with Turning Points USA. At some points, yes. Penn State Group denounces controversial speakers brought in by Turning Point chapter. Chapter. Okay. This was back on October of 2019. October of 2019. So this is not years and years and years ago. This is a couple years ago. Right? <laughs> Penn State chapter of Turning Point USA, a conservative organization dedicated to organizing university students for voting freedom, is bringing two speakers to campus that university leaders are publicly denouncing. Conservative YouTube personalities Hunter Avalon and Carl Benjamin, who goes by Sargon of Akkad online, have been banned from Twitter for their derogatory and hateful comments about various groups. 
the funny thing is, is that he's calling him a fascist, but like Turning Point, isn't Turning Point more like just standard conservative? Uh, I could be wrong, but isn't Turning Point like related to like Charlie Kirk and all them? Don't the actual fascists fight with them all the fucking time? <laughs> Fuentes and all those guys like fucking hate Turning Point USA and all those guys like they hate him like so much I, But I guess to Mike like all conservatives are the same or whatever everybody on the right is like the same type of thing Avalon is a former Christian conservative blogger who released a notorious video called the truth about transgenders In which he opposed gender confirmation sur surgery He also released a number of videos in which he mocks and ridicules LGBT activists, transgender bathroom controversies, leftists, and third wave feminism. And by the way, this uh, this little rat made a video about me. All right, so let's pause it here. Um, so you can just tell exactly what he's doing here, which is trying to poison the well. Listen to how Hunter was apparently doing speeches with Sargon of Akkad. Ooh, scary, spooky. He leaves out a lot of really vital information here. And it's really strange, but not really, because it's about what I would expect uh, from the researching abilities from this guy. Let's go ahead and look at a different article. So that was October 23rd. This is October 24th, after the speech had actually taken place. It's interesting how Mike presents this information as, here's Hunter Avalon. He went up there with Sargon of Akkad with TP USA and then was talking about transgender people being bad. That's not what happened at all. If you had actually read what happened with the speech, when an article came out after the speech had taken place, not just when the campus denounced previous old comments I made, you can see that Avalone addressed the growing trend in conservatives playing victim regarding censorship. His speech addresses big tech censorship and claimed that it was not a free speech issue. This was my first falling out with the alt-right. This speech was my notorious speech where I said conservative big tech censorship is very much blown out of proportion. It's a victim narrative. And to this day, I still stand by that position and still get shit for it. So the fact that he would frame it as hunters with TPUSA speaking with Sargon, he leaves out the vital information that the point of doing a speech on how censorship isn't happening the way that we're being told on an event about censorship that's supposed to be all about, like, people being censored, that was this fucking smart-ass move right there. I dropped that speech in front of a bunch of conservatives. Like, what's no- that's so- that's such an effective method right there. Oh, look, nice- this- this nice quote. YouTube is like communism. Everyone suffers equally. <laughs> this is like a middle finger to Mike from PA, to Mike from CCP, from the past. <laughs> This, we're on some trippy Charles Dickens bullshit here. They go on to explain how I said it's not in YouTube's best interest to remove conservative channels. And then you leave the fact that Benjamin, Carl Benjamin, Sargon of Akkad, was introduced after Avalon and he had a completely different viewpoint. Me and Sargon were at odds here. We were arguing with each other. So this is just like an entirely dishonest framing of these, this, this chain of events. I don't know, maybe this is just my own history. Maybe I should do something in incognito, hold on. When you search me and then go to news, I don't even know where the Hunter Avalon was denounced article is. The first article that comes up is this one, where it explains what my speech was about and that it was against playing the victim arguing with Sargon of Akkad. Oh, good God. How do you butcher information this badly? I don't know if he's bad faith or just this fucking dumb. Denounces controversial speakers brought in by Turning Point chapter. chapter. Also, yeah, of course they're going to denounce me because the event was being very much advertised as a right-wing event. So it was being protested and the Penn State said, yeah, we don't like that they said these controversial things. I have said controversial things about trans people in the past, back in like 2016, 2017, that I have 
since very heavily denounced and debunked on this channel. But we'll we'll get into that shortly. Let's continue. This was back on October of 2019. October of 2019. What was the speech about, Mike? So this is not years and years and years ago. This is a couple years ago. What was the speech about, right? Mike? But I just want you to know, he's still yes. doing the same shit. Wait, what? Wait. What do you mean I'm still doing? If he's still doing the same shit, Mike, why would you go back to 2019 to find something? Why not do something more relevant? Like Doing the same shit. Calling you out is the equivalent of posting transphobic content? Really, Mike? Is this... How bad do you want these victim points? Shit, dude. He's just doing the same shit that he always does. Calling out Mike from PA for being a disingenuous loser. Making transphobic content that I've since heavily denounced and debunked. How are these things still the same, Mike? Burning the American flag is equally as cringy as pledging allegiance to it. Now, chat, this is what these anti s Yeah, I would almost agree with that. <clears throat> like, I think that you should be allowed to burn the American flag. I don't think it should be illegal. Generally, when people are burning the American flag, it, they're usually, like, really cringy. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is pretty true. I would probably defend that statement more than Hunter. I don't know how strongly I'd defend it, but, like, eh. It is usually pretty cringe. SJWs do. They're notice number how, one. Notice how he's still just calling me an anti-SJW. He's saying I'm still a fascist. There's like not an ounce of not even charitability, but just understanding here. There's not an ounce of it given. Move is to say my intellectual opponent is cringe. That's step. This is teenage boy logic, by the way. So the first thing you want to do is say this guy is cringe or this person is cringe you're not cool okay so mike's entire posturing platform is literally talking about how alpha and cool he is mike is like the like the weak man's version of a strong man or the beta's version of an alpha or whatever like he's constantly like screaming and talking about how smart and cool and intelligent like it's super cringe he hardcore overcompensates and to anybody that is like actually confident like you could tell how much he's overcompensating for it it is ultra cringe never in the history of all of mankind has somebody uttered like i'm alpha i'm confident i'm blah 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 and actually is right you're like like you're hardcore overcompensating like it's really obvious i can win by being the alpha male avoid the fact that this is like a non-argument and i don't know why he's so upset that i said something is cringe like i guess is that if you agree with them you're cringe now why does that work on teenagers because Spirit teenagers tree? are desperate to be validated by their peers and they have low <laughs> self-esteem <laughs> okay so just projection just putting that one out there anyone who knows anything about mike from pa knows that that fucking it right there is projection hardcore holy so the shit, number dude. one thing you Come can on. do to try to convince a teenager is that agreeing with said position is cringe i mean he started when he was literally a, a teenager he started making his videos literally as a teenager that's why hunter avalon did so well because he was in the teenager brain space of like if you disagree with me i will just call you cringe and this is like such a total lack why of is understanding so of how any of my content was or st or is like this is bizarre like it's i feel like his understanding of me is like what a friend of a friend of a friend told him but that friend of a friend of a friend was like super like far left or something <laughs> i mean this is he he has no real understanding of any of my content still doing it and he's still doing it to the left now, let me tell you something, chat. I may, you may think that ACAB or mm -hmm. abolish the police or defund the police or burning the American flag is not the most effective means to convince a suburban white moderate. Uh huh? You know what? You're right. So what? <laughs> our entire politics and all our rhetoric does not need to be oriented. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going to stop right there because no one said all your rhetoric must be like this to appeal to this person. But what do you mean, who cares? Does, does Mr. Mike over here not realize what a 
incredibly privileged perspective that is. Obviously, optics aren't everything, and I agree that you should not compromise your values for the sake of optics, but if you're trying to appeal to a broad group of people, those points need to be communicated well. It is. It kind of goes without saying that the more people involved in your movement, the more change you are likely to see. I think that we can reasonably assume that, right? If furthermore, white suburban people make up a large voting block and they're in more powerful positions to actually enact change. I think a great example of this is Black Lives Matter. Back in 2013 when it started, it was kind of like not really known very well. Of course, it was a beginning movement, but now, 2021, the entire nation is aware of Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter pushing these racial issues into the national spotlight has literally led to this current administration enacting certain policies to try and alleviate symptoms of systemic racism. Because the movement was able to gain power by appealing to large groups of people, including moderates, we're actually seeing real material change for some of these people. I mean, this is the ultimate privileged white boy perspective right here. <laughs> the ultimate. And not even that. Thankfully, I did a little bit of research, something that Mike from PA slipped up on doing. And uh, that's really odd, Mike. I'm wondering why you're saying that now to get brownie points to your audience when I've heard you say something that sounds kind of like you agree with my take, not the tweet but at least my explanation given. And that's, but, but, but the ACAB thing, like you're saying, Mike, do you, do, do you say ACAB? And I, I personally wouldn't because I'm trying to get actual progressive politicians elected. And I recognize that for normies, cool. uh -huh. ACAB is so world shaking, mind bending of a statement to make to them that they're going to rebel. And you know why that is? Because working as a police officer is one of the few remaining Sounds jobs. Sounds like you agree you with do. my take, uh -huh. Mike from like a poor or middle-class background where they get a secure pay, they get benefits. So they probably know some police officers in their family or extended family. Cool. So if I come up to them and say, hey, white person, a cab, I'm probably alienating people that I could win over. That's all, okay, telling, we both agree then, we're both- Wait, Mike, that's my take. And that's a complete contradiction to what you literally just said here. I may, you may think that a cab or abolish the police or defund the police or burning the American flag is not the most effective means to convince a suburban white moderate. You know what? You're right. So what? These two statements are not the same from one. I wouldn't say a cab because it alienates a group that could potentially be on my side. I want to get things done. I want to see real change. That's what you say to destiny as as early as 2019, <gasps> right back in 2019. And now all of a sudden, you just, who cares? You just don't care? And, oh yeah, and keep in mind, I'm apparently the professional grifter, the guy that can't even give his, keep his opinion straight, depending on who he's fucking having a conversation with. Give me a break, Mike, you spineless fucking weasel. Damn Some of it needs to be about activating and agitating the people that are being oppressed. Not everything needs to revolve around your white suburban ass. Oh my God. Mike being the whitest, most suburbanist motherfucker that's ever walked the earth. See how he's doing that? See how he's putting those qualifiers in? Not everything has to, of course, not everything you ever utter should appeal to the white moderates or whatever. But when you're trying to push for real change, when you're trying to push for policies, and when you're trying to push for certain officials to be elected, you don't want to alienate moderates who otherwise might be on your side by screeching a cab or burning the American flag. It's that simple. With a capital, fuck you. And the other oh, thing is, I gotta shame. tell you that this is a position that's shared with Donald Trump. <gasps> this is a position really? what? that is pathetic. Oh no, wait, what? And you know, we ought to do something, Mr. Senators. We have two great senators. We ought to come up with legislation that if you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one- 
think I thinking the burning the American flag is cringe is way different than thinking that you should have your citizenship revoked or that it should be made illegal to do so. That is not, these are not the same positions. Jesus. One year, one year. He's saying my opinion and Donald Trump's opinion here are the same. Mike, do you wanna watch this again? This is why we wrote this down earlier. Mike heavily emphasizes and criticizes my use of the word cringy. Now listen, cringy is not the same as you should go to prison. Saying something is cringy is not the same as saying something should be illegal. Mike, you yourself made fun of my use of the word cringy. I think we know that something being cringy isn't the same as me saying something is or should be made illegal. These are wildly, wildly different statements. I am not advocating to lock people up for being cringy. And believe me, my dude, if I was, you would be getting a life sentence. Not to mention, <laughs> I've been consistent on this position. But you have to remember that Mike, he doesn't really do any of the research, right? So here's a video from June 22nd, 2020. If you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year. So this happened very recently. I saw it on Twitter, and as soon as I watched this clip, I was so incredibly disappointed. I don't think burning the flag is appropriate. I think it's douchey and rude, and I think that the people who do it tend to be stupid little rat weasels. So I get it. I don't like burning... No joke, Mike's reasoning for supposedly not being white and suburban himself is that he was a military brat, as if growing up in a suburb somewhere near a military base doesn't count. For, what, did he like join like right at a high school or did he get like a degree and like go right to fucking officer's school or whatever? Like just because you were in the military doesn't mean that you're not white and suburban, okay? Like counterpoint, my mom went to the Air Force and my mom is incredibly suburban compared to like my, um, her brother and her sister. Like they are worlds apart in terms of like, quote unquote, sheltered experience. Um, isn't your mom a Cuban immigrant? Yeah, you can still join the Air Force. Oh, when he says military brat, he means kids not him. D didn't he say that he went to the military though? I thought he was talking about how he got accepted to military school. Wait, if he's not implying that he went to the military, why is it that thinking that you're just, why is it that thinking that you're just like a child in a military family doesn't mean you can't be privileged or suburban? What does that, what does he mean by that? He lived on base because of his parents? Who, so? Okay. What? burning the American flag. And I understand that there are a lot of people here that are trying to be patriotic, so they take offense when people burn the flag as well. However, it is your freedom of speech, it is your freedom of expression, it is your constitutional right to burn the American flag because it is a political statement. I mean, this is just ridiculous and it really- Okay, so there you go. I've been consistent on this position, as you can Jesus. see. Jesus, well, I don't care as much because I don't really care that much about like Hunter and Mike in terms of like, I'm super invested in the drama. But if I was, Hunter has got like all the receipts everywhere. Jesus Christ, oh my God. Could it have been worded better on Twitter? Of course, absolutely. But overall, I have been consistent on this position. So for Mike from PA to dishonestly try and frame it as if I share a position with Donald Trump as extreme as locking people up for burning the American flag simply because I said it was cringy is bizarre. Second of all, I said both were cringy. So by that logic, am I advocating to lock people up for doing the Pledge of Allegiance also? I don't know if Mike from PA is actually just like maybe mentally handicapped or perhaps he's just this disingenuous. Oh, I, I don't know. But so far, everything he's done here has been trying to poison the well, and he's just continuously lying about me. Everything you don't like isn't cringe, you little baby brain teenager. Why don't you go back to Penn State and talk about the truth about transgenders?
He's lying again. Listen to that. I didn't do his- Why wouldn't you even like just look up the speech a little bit, Mike? If you're going to shit on him, like Jesus. Speech on trans people. And if you had done any research, the first article that comes up clarifies what I did a speech on. You yourself said it was on censorship. This lying scumbag was doubling down on this very statement, even on Twitter. This snake was literally at Turning Point USA events at the end of 2019 attacking transgender people, has a real change of heart, and immediately attacks leftists with the exact same videos. But he's a leftist, I promise. I'm not even a leftist. I'm like a sock them centrist type. But even so, what the fuck is this? How do you butcher information this hard? Dude, I'm telling you, if... If he's butchering this information this badly, I wonder what other details he's constantly hmm. getting fatally wrong. The shit is I should such go back to mocking LGBT activists and transgender bathroom controversies, leftist and third wave feminism. It's the only reason anybody knows how you, who you, the fuck you are. He's just like in an area shit. where college campuses are way too sensitive. I think Mike might have like the highest ratio of like smugness to intelligence of anybody that I think I've ever had the displeasure of interacting with on the internet. He like, there are people that are dumber than him, but there aren't very many people that are at his level of smugness. And he's pretty down there on the rung in terms of like, these are people that I would be considered to be somewhat intelligent at least. Well, to be fair, I think a lot of people are pretty dumb on the internet, but he's definitely like down there. Um, I think that his ratio of like smugness to stupidity is very, 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 very high. Bad Bunny might be like first. I don't, Tonka Trunks is like unrated. His, it's like undefined. That's like a divide by zero. <laughs> okay. And trigger warnings are common. Okay, said, we know, Turning dude. point we, wants to promote I, open I dialogue. Transgenders are cringe. Now he's saying, I'm a leftist now. Uh, you can't hold me accountable for all that stuff I was profiting from two years ago. Wait, and I still have again, videos. Oh my God, why is everything this guy said, everything he says is just like putting a position on me. I, I think he has like a caricature of me in, in his head. And that's just like what he's attacking right now. What are you? Now, uh, you can't hold me accountable for all that stuff I was profiting from two years ago. <laughs> when? First of all, it was not two years ago, okay? By then, my content was greatly, like, evolving and changing, and I had been making many more pro-LGBT uh, stances, and I was fighting with the alt-right about the censorship thing. So that's not even true. Second of all, when did I say you can't criticize me? No one's been more critical of my past content than me. When did I say you can't criticize me? And I still have videos up generating me money. You can't criticize me for all the videos I have up still generating me money. And Dude, these videos don't generate that much money, man. This guy's not making. This guy fucked himself by, by doing his new shit on YouTube. Like, this guy has, Hunter has, what does he have? 584,000 subs. And this channel is getting not even a million views a month. 470,000, 400,000, 600,000. Like, when he 180'd his political shit, he lost, like, everything doing this. Like, what do you mean he still got old video views up? For perspective, my channel has like half the subs or a little over half the subs, right? And I'm getting like four, five, six, seven million views like a month. Like, what What do you mean? Like, oh my God, he's making so much money off his old, like Jesus. Putting out propaganda where I smear people. You can't criticize that. Oh, I've changed. I've changed in no significant way, but I want you to give me credit. No significant way. There you guys, there you guys have it. To this guy, me being pro LGBT or not being pro LGBT, it doesn't matter because I don't pass his little purity check. It's absolutely disgusting. And that's why I have already done more to pull people away from the far right than this little fuckwit ever has and ever will. I want that's you to treat true. me. Like I'm, I'm reformed because I'm now. Look never at my said, popular uploads. Never said you have to treat me Amy like I'm reformed. Amy Schumer is a total. Mo also, I guess he cut it out. At one point, he tried to search up my truth about transgender video, and then couldn't find it, and then just like brushed on past it. Where if he had actually gone to YouTube, instead of like typing it in Google, if he had gone to YouTube and searched this, look, Hunter. Oh wait, you know what? We'll do it in incognito, Hunter. Avalon 
truth about transgenders. Now, granted, you probably would have seen this just off the title and gone, look, 11 months ago. And wouldn't have actually clicked it to see, Man, wait, what is this? I'm so bored. What can I do wait, that's really- Wait, is this me? Oh, wait, it's me debunking my normal. old video. Normal, millionaires aren't normal. Having a college degree, but this Dr. Paul McHugh guy is a complete fucking loser. He has no idea what he's talking about. And the fact that I actually cited him in my video is embarrassing. Plus what this- Okay, so again, if he had simply typed in his YouTube search bar, Hunter Avalon, truth about transgenders, he would have seen that those views had long been denounced. <clears throat> 11 months ago, I had debunked that video. <laughs> but no, he doesn't want to mess up the, the caricature he has in his head of me. Did I miss the, where's my thing? Okay. Moron, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez <clears throat> is an idiot. Man-hating feminist video goes horribly wrong. When feminists do stand-up comedy. Angry racist won't talk to white people. Trolling the women's march. Still profiting from that shit, man. Okay, really? Let's let's actually let's uh let's let's check that one out, Mike. What's this look like, buddy? Okay. Here's the oh, video. Oh no, he even demonetized all the videos. I wouldn't have. Fuck that. If you make mistakes, fucking yeah, fuck, yeah, you better still make money off this shit. Yeah, here's the details. Go into your mon my monetization. I turned it off. I literally have the monetization on this video turned off. What was the other one? Man hating feminist. I have the monetization again turned off. I haven't been like profiting off these old videos still. I've deleted a ton of content on my channel. 20 million plus views I've removed from my channel. It, I cannot just nuke my entire channel to appease your purity test, Mike. I'm sorry, but your claim that I'm profiting off these old videos is just, it's not true. And you know who he also attacked and called cringe? You won't have to scroll far to find it. You won't have to scroll far to find it. He literally took Tucker Carlson as it. He did the same exact thumbnail that he did for AOC, but flipped it with Tucker Carlson. So? He's a mercenary. He's a mercenary. Wait, is this really what he's saying? Because I made a video on AOC. Again, I'm allowed to criticize people that are on the left still. The fact that he's saying I haven't changed because there's a video up talking about AOC. I'm sorry. I have taken down a shit ton of videos, especially the ones that I found to be like really bad. The AOC one... I mean, this is really getting absurd at this point. This is like, you don't agree with me on every aspect of politics, therefore you're still a right-wing fascist. Oh, Mike from PA is a disingenuous loser. True. Yes. Base you gotta, take. You got it more, more, because, uh, and he put Vouch in the thumbnail and me. Yeah. See, back in 2013, I was fighting for this shit. I was fighting for LGBT rights while you were a child, you little fuck. Even if that was true, how is that an own? You're just really old. <laughs> like, like imagine like a 12 year old and I'm like, well, back before you were born, I was like, yeah, okay. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, so what, what does that mean? And also it's really funny that you keep bringing up when you were just a boy. Yeah, well then can you explain this one to us, uh, uh, Mikey boy? How come? Back in 2014, you were still a Republican. How come you were still a registered Republican? How come when you ran for, was it the House? House seat. You switched your party affiliation from Republican to Democrat. I think he might be a grifter, guys. I think that he realized, you know what, this Gamergate thing might be a little bit like popping off right now, but I think it's only a matter of time till the left rises up. I think Mike from PA might have been a grifter. I mean... His mom was literally a Republican who ran again, Justin Simmons. And then after she lost to him, Mike from PA switched his party affiliation to run against Justin Simmons, the guy that had beat his mom in 2010. For him to be like, former fascist. All right, fine. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God, hold on. 
I thought that was just like kind of a cringy joke that Hunter was making. Like, oh no, they beat your mom. Was it actually his mom that got beaten? Is that actually true? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just making like a joke. Oh no! He changed his party and ran so they could beat the dude that beat his poor mom? <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? I'll get him, mom! And well, Mike from PA, former Republican. Like, we could go that route. Or, we could accept the fact that people can change, Mike. Do we want to go to- let's go to another one. Because he keeps on bringing up the fact that I used to make this content or something. Then why is it, Mike, that, uh, you said to Destiny on your debate multiple times you were against cancel culture? Um, but, and this is, this is what I've always said, because I'm not, par I'm not a canceler. I don't cancel. Oh, no. What do we think? You yourself said that you're not a fan of cancel culture. I'm not either. No, 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 I'm not. Okay, I'm not. So sure. But, 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 I'm using... Okay, so there's multiple occasions, Mike from PA, see, in defense, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in favor of cancel culture when it's convenient for him. And now, all of a sudden, he seems really intent on, like, trying to find something problematic from my past that he can then, like, use to incriminate me. I don't know. It just seems like you're trying to cancel me a little bit, Mike. Sounds like something a canceler would do. A cringy canceler would do this. He would take down his Gamergate videos. I he hasn't down changed. A bunch he likes of that them. money to flow in. He likes that ad rev. Videos aren't monetized. We already looked at it on stream. I want to teach you stuff for real. These fuckers don't want to teach you. They just want to spout dumbass shit. You hear that? And if you want to understand how far right that is. Damn. Mike's mom served as as a state representative in Pennsylvania for five years, and she was a Republican the entire time. Oh, no. Mike's having, like, a midlife mommy crisis where he's, like, rebelling against his family by, like, turning into a fucking tanky. Holy shit. Uh, this is the case that legalized And here he goes flag. again. Nope. Here he goes again. And then off to this big virtue signaling tangent on how... So I can't believe I missed so much Mike lore. I could have been fucking roasting him the whole time for this shit. Holy shit. Mike's entire life is just a big cope. The case was that we were able to allow it to be freedom of speech to burn the flag. Something that I was not against. Something I never said. Something you yourself criticized the use of my word cringy that has nothing to do with making it illegal. What a disingenuous Conservative attack. freak on these dumbass opinions. But when you pretend to be a leftist and you're sitting there, I've your never called myself a leftist. Stick is I'm a le but he has uh he's doubled down like significantly on these takes even more so. So like then he tries to call me out for this and tries to find like a joke I made in 20 in June of 2020. Sounds like something a canceler would do. Damn. Feminist stand up comedy. Three words that just don't belong in the same sentence. It's like Islam and gay rights. It just, it doesn't go together. It doesn't okay, work. So, now on this channel, we have talked about feminist stand up. So that right there was kind of what he was, he was getting at. And you know what? In hindsight, I will, I will say that, um, you know, I, I recognize that that joke isn't great. I think that it contributes to a harmful stereotype of an already marginalized group. So would I make a joke like that today? No. But part of something you have to understand, Mike, and this is something I've said very frequently, when you're changing and your viewpoints are developing and you're kind of documenting that on your channel, it is going to be a process. I didn't wake up one day and have a switch in my head change where all of a sudden all my positions were just different. It's funny that you're accusing me of, of not changing enough Whereas other people accuse me of becoming a soy boy leftist cuck. It's like, no matter what I do, I don't know. It's just, this doesn't prove that I'm a grifter. If anything, the fact that I'm willing to admit that I wouldn't make a joke like that now, and that a joke like that isn't good and is irresponsible, somehow that means I'm a grifter. What <laughs> I do you know how I've interviewed people that are like running for Congress and shit? <laughs> do you think that I get in a roundabout way? Try to interview Mike's mom without revealing that, like, I have a history with her son. And be like, hey, I interview a lot of people that have been, like, running for Congress and shit. I want to talk to old state legislatures. I think Pennsylvania with the last election was interesting. 
That would be really fucking funny. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I would say today, the kind of joke I would make today would be, uh, it's like religion and gay rights. They just don't go together. Um, and then, oh yeah, he, he tries to claim I'm a grifter because I'm selling merchandise that says I melt snowflakes. I call people on the right snowflakes all the time. Mike from PA is getting on. Hello. Hello, uh, Mike from The memes begin. Here we go. PA, you know how long I wanted to ask you what a tiff is? And now uh, I'm finally here able to talk to you and ask you to your <laughs> face. I think you're going to go with Vouch community memes. Do you really want to know? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go with. No, I'm not going to go with Vouch community memes. I, I'm more interested I, I, in. What, by the way, I'm more interested I, if you did any research at all before making that little stream segment on me, because it was some of the most poorly researched uh, content I think I'd it's ever seen. It's almost like the video you made against me, Hunter. Some of what you said was just like, so entirely right? factually incorrect. Factually so, incorrect. Were yeah. You, so, okay. for example, what do you think All my right, hold on, wait, hold wait, on. wait? What do you think my begin, speech at Penn begin, State was before, was before about? Before we begin, uh oh. Before we begin, before we begin, you start yelling about whatever you slight you feel that you've been slighted. Could you, for the audience, explain kind of what you think your politics is today? I consider myself kind of a social democrat. So, when you say social social democrat, do you mean the traditional definition of it that you'll find on Wikipedia, which is a socialist? Who believes in a democratic transition no when i say social democracy all these definitions get used like so fast and loose but <clears throat> social democracy is a political social and economic philosophy within the socialist tradition as an economic ideology and political regime it is described by academics as advocating economic and social interventions to promote social justice within the framework of a liberal democratic polity and a capitalist oriented mixed economy so you're a fucking lib it originated as a political ideology that advocated an evolutionary and peaceful transition from capitalism to socialism. <clears throat> Countries after the post-war era committed themselves to an alternative path to socialism or to a compromise between capitalism and socialism. In this period, social democrats embraced a mixed economy based on the predominance of private property with only a minority of essential utilities and public services under public ownership. As a result, social democracy became associated with Keynesian economics, state interventionism, and the welfare state while replacing less emphasis while placing less emphasis on the prior goal of replacing the capitalist system with a qualitatively different socialist economic system. So, not doing that. Um, maybe like originally, social democracy was like a goal to move like uh, towards socialism, but I don't think that's how it's seen anywhere else in the world now, and hasn't been for a long time. But so it's kind of weird that Mike would just like misquote the wiki, but whatever. Who believes in a democratic transition? No, when I say- I wonder if Mike is mixing it up with a dem sock, with a democratic socialist. Because a democratic socialist, I believe is somebody that believes in the transition to, um, is a political philosophy supporting political democracy within a socially owned economy with a particular emphasis on economic democracy, workplace democracy, and worker self-management within a market socialist economy or some form of decentralized planned socialist economy. A dem sock and a sock dem are not the same thing. Um, I wonder if Mike is mixing them up, which is kind of weird because a democratic socialist is not a social democrat. Maybe he's just mixing them up, but I don't know. Democrat, do you mean the traditional definition of it that you'll find on Wikipedia, which is a socialist who believes in a democratic transition? No, when I say social democrat, I mean like I want like stronger social safety nets, but I think we can still work so within our current like system. you mean more like a social liberal or like a liberal? No, I mean, he, he means a social, fuck! I wish I could have been, I even messaged Hunter and I was like, oh no! Uh, but apparently, supposedly he does decent in this conversation. I wish I could have been on with him here. Um, Mike is just wrong. He's trying to like hammer him on semantics that he just doesn't understand. Um, like what Hunter cited is actually what a social democrat wants, is stronger social welfare, stronger social safety nets, um, but still working within a capitalist framework. That's how Sweden works. That's how all of Scandinavia works. That's how every sock dem country works. Like maybe more of a liberal. Yeah, I, I guess I would consider okay. myself more of a, a don't don't. So a, a dem sock might not be a liberal, but a social democrat is absolutely a liberal. Okay, liberal democratic. Is this polity? Polity. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Uh, but yeah, you you can be a liberal and be a sock dem. Those aren't contradictory.
social liberal or like a liberal. Maybe more of a liberal. Yeah, I, I like he thinks I'm, that social democrat and liberal aren't the same thing, but they they are. But well, not would consider kind of, myself it's like more part of a, of a social democrat or. I now, guess would you say liberal. you're fixed? Would but you I'm say not. You're hold on, you're I'm not interested in talking yourself. about my positions here because. Wait, what do you mean? This is what this is about. No, it's you're not. It's about changed. the fact that wait, you made a segment you're on me. You, wait, you're saying you've changed and you should get a benefit of the doubt. Wait, wait, wait. There we go again. You're lying you're already. When did I say I should have a benefit of the doubt? This is what I mean. Is why you don't know about so me. What you're you, I don't think you understand who I am. Because that's why I'm asking you right now. I'm trying to clear it up for misapprehension of the audience. I think a lot of your audience thinks of you someone who was on the alt-right uh -huh. and who transitioned. Was Hunter ever on the alt-right? I really hate how a lot of these dipshit people on the left mix up like all conservatives as being the same thing. Was Hunter actually an alt-righter, like believed in Jewish conspiracy shit and white supremacy? Or was he just like a standard like anti-SJW like... I, I feel like it probably doesn't help that Mike doesn't actually talk to anybody with political differences than him. Um, but it's really annoying that, that they don't know any of the other political ideologies. Into a, we don't really know yet, because you're, again, when I asked you what you were, you changed already in this conversation from a social democrat, now you're a social liberal. No. What, that, 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 <laughs> oh, I don't know if Hunter knows the political labels well mike is just wrong on the political labels here hunter is totally within his right to call himself a social democrat everything he said was consistent with social democracy i don't know what the fuck a social liberal is i've never heard if this is like another fucking brand of but whatever but like if social liberal is a thing there's probably going to be a fuck ton of crossover between like what a social liberal would want and what a social democrat would want like it's probably going to be like a fuck ton of crossover like jesus christ <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. Right. No, no, no. Before You're already end. being super bad faith, and I, I, I don't appreciate this, okay? So we're going to go through okay. the claims you made directly all about me. All I asked me. you, Hunter, all I asked you was what your positions are. By That's the standards of the way that we define what a social democrat is, I would definitely fall under that definition. When you That's say why we, I tell people in a general, in an American sense, I am a social democrat. On an online sense, I would be more of a centrist. That's what I've said, and I've said that consistently. But we're not here to talk about that right now. We're first going to talk about your segment. We're going to go through it a little bit and talk about some of these things. The first thing being, you've said multiple times that my speech at Penn State was on uh, transgender people attacking transgender That's individuals. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said you, you were didn't say that. With, I, if you can read what I said in the tweet, and I'll read it out loud for everybody, is that you were with... Turning Points USA. You were going to Turning Points USA stuff as recently as 2019. What do you think my speech was about then? And you guys were discussing deplatforming, and they had a conspiracy theory about deplatforming. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, I don't think that the right is unfairly targeted. Which, to give you Did you know that, that when you made the Oh, Mike just, wa Mike was watching the stream. <laughs> now he's getting called the fuck out. And now what he's going to try to do is, so Mike's goal is to make it sound like so before, what Mike was clearly insinuating was that Hunter went to these like conservative speeches to be buddy buddy with conservatives and to hate on trans people. That's what Mike was implying. Before. Now Mike is going to try to say, right? It's like the it's like the final episode of Steins Gate. Uh, you have to go back into the past, but what's already happened can't be changed. But you have to change it anyway. Forge of yesterday, whatever you must to save the future, without detectably altering the past as you understood it. Keep the past for all intents and purposes where it is. Deceive yourself in every last detail. Deceive the world. Do this, and victory is assured. So now what Mike is trying to do is like, okay, I know I said all this stuff. I didn't mean that when you went there with them, that you were with them with them. I mean that you were with them like on stage physically, but I know that you disagreed with them, but you were just, right? right? Like this is actually like unironically like trying to alter the past without altering the past. Holy shit. Right, but that's not... Wait, did you know that, that when you change, made the segment on me, though? It doesn't change significantly anything I'm saying. You're this absolutely changes everything, Mike. There's a huge difference between I went to his fucking Turning Point USA thing to shit on the transes versus I went to a Turning Point USA thing to argue with them about trans people and to uh, disagree with their take on whether or not conservatives are being deplatformed. It's actually, like, maybe the most important thing.
it does. My statement. No, it I'm does. not because you're because you're just you're you being so dishonest because right now. Because you were with Turning Points USA, you were allied with the far right as recently as 2019, and you no, were making that's wrong. anti left wing videos. I went and shook, looked at your catalog because I've been told you've changed. Thank you, Trudeau. And within the mm -hmm. last year, anti leftist, anti feminist, all sorts of you know. First of all, Gamer there was Gate X esque content. <laughs> You know, attacking people for you know basically. Okay, doing so the right QFR here, buddy, on Twitter, you say shit. this snake That's all, why was literally. Let me finish. I'm going to keep talking when you when you. Okay. When not can I can I read my? Tweet? So you do the Kiwi the Farms tweet, lol cow shit. You have your top videos are <laughs> all attacking people like AOC, which by the way weren't monetized. So there's they that. Were, they were okay. They were limited monetization. We just saw it earlier on your show that they were in fact monetized, but Go you know Google and YouTube. No, I on. demonetized. Those and you videos. I turned off the monetization. Video, one no, video, but both then of them. on the other videos that we could see, right on this, we could go back to the VOD, to the VOD, and we can look and see that they were limited uh, monetization. We're already and getting that's what so happens off subject. When you discuss when you discuss politics on on YouTube, they often demonetize that because a lot of a lot. Of You're literally saying things back to me that I just said in this segment. It's obvious that you sat here and watched it and then refined what, what you were going to say. So let me ask you this. No, you made it Is this you tweet made yours? Did you say you this? This snake was literally at a... Oh, oh no. It's, Hunter doesn't even have to be a good debater because he just has all the receipts on his stream. Like, it, Jesus. Is this tweet yours? Did you say this? This snake was literally at a... Okay, you're actually confronting what I'm actually saying. I are having trouble dealing with what I'm actually saying, which is you have put out and continue to have harmful content. Maybe you should talk to some of like your new what? friends like what? about the anti-feminist stuff. And you saying that you are the... No, see, you're not doing... You're not attacking feminists. See, you're doing a advanced critique uh, offsetting liberal feminism from true socialist feminism, but you're not a socialist. So why no, are I'm you saying there's a difference the one, between oh, real feminist of, efforts of versus pop feminism. feminism, but we've already moved off because you've denied <laughs> making this claim and you have lied about it. And then you're not letting me actually read shit. your tweet. I didn't lie anything. Go ahead. You said that you have reading comprehension. This snake was literally at Turning Point USA events at the end of 2019 attacking transgender people. Mike's going to say the event was attacking transgender people. Not you, Hunter. No way will he say that. He won't actually say that. No way would Mike say that. Yeah. So, yeah. do you know what my speech at Penn State was about? Were you attacking transgender people in 2019? Yes. Or no. Right? Are you sure about that? Yes. I've, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I've fine. already taken down my truth about transgenders video, and that's why when you tried to search for it on your on your live stream, because I saw the vod, you couldn't find it because it's been taken down. And if you had actually gone on my channel, yeah, but okay, but hold on. Posted? When was the truth about transgenders? In 2016, so at the very no, beginning no, of 2016. Okay. I'm sorry, that's, okay, that's right. You were attacking transgender people. You were being brought in to, so you, okay. So your gotcha is you were not, that video was old and you made a new video mm. recently about the truth of transgenders. I've made another video 11 months ago called The Truth About Transgenders. 11 months ago. Debunking. So Hold on, wait, you're not letting me finish. What year was that? What year was that? Mike, yeah. this video was debunking my notorious transgender video, okay? I'm going through explaining why the video, the original video was so wrong. So when would you say you transitioned from being alt-right or, or right-wing? I mean, what, I, what I was even defending like trans people um, my people like Mike are legitimately more harmful to the left in political discourse than fucking Nazis at this point because Nazis have been so deplatformed, but people like Mike are still like spreading their crazy shit to like thousands of people. I don't think he's a YouTube channel or whatever at least, but like people like Mike are legitimately fucking dangerous. Uh, like he makes everybody on this side of the political aisle look like an unhinged fucking lunatic. Uh, like his life and the way that he lives is fucking pathetic and deplorable. Like everything about his mannerisms, the way that he approaches these conversations, like the way that he treats people, the way that he like lies about stuff and like has misinformation and willfully misrepresents things the way that he clout farms and like desperately tries to like he did it here with hunter where he desperately tries to like get some sort of attention onto himself he's like a disgusting fucking human being a worm one might say absolutely disgusting fucking human being now granted probably not as well as i could have been um but i was even defending transgender people back in like the end of when was the jessica yaniv thing because I hold on, let me, I'm going through my channel to try to. So find like, out. okay, but so I think what your so your point about the so you really want to have a debate with me over the exact month where you made a specific about no, what I characterized. No, that's the like, look at how look at how bad faith Mike is being in this conversation, right? You really want to have a debate about the exact month? No, 
That wasn't what the conversation was about. The conversation was about your tweet where you fucking lied about whether or not he was attacking trans people. You're just wrong. You're absolutely, or, hold on, no. You're not wrong, you lied. When I say wrong, that implies a lack of intentionality. You intentionally lied about like his position. Or you were so willfully negligent that it uh, amounted to an intentional lie uh, because you were so unwilling to do even the two seconds of, of watching or reading. You're like, he's being such a weaselly little fuck right now trying to get out of like how misrepresented he was or misrepresentative he was being. Opposite of it. I, it's just that you're you're lying about me, right? So that's the first thing that I wanted to clear up yep. is that you're saying that I'm at but Penn State pedantic. attacking transgender people, but that's not this true. But you were in, you were invited to Penn State by Turning Points because you were a famous alt right YouTuber, right? He wasn't all. I don't. Mike doesn't even know what alt right is. I mean, I guess he doesn't even know what Sockdem is, which I guess isn't really surprising. Um, but like, Jesus Christ! Like, I don't think Hunter was ever. All, I don't know if Mike knows what alt right is. To be fair, I don't know if a lot of left-leaning people know what alt-right means, but... That's wrong. No. I was invited to TPUSA for a censorship event where I then talked about how conservative censorship isn't happening, which led to my massive fallout with the alt-right and got so me they, attacked by people like Mark Dice. Why did Turning Points USA invite you? Because they the didn't know that, because I hadn't actually... Oh, they didn't know. So you were invited because you were an alt-right. Wait, wait, wait. I, w I was still labeled by I, Hunter doesn't know what alt-right means either, though. This is driving me crazy, okay? To be clear again, Turning Point USA and Charlie Kirk, these people are not alt-righters. They're like, I don't know if you'd call them, I don't know if I'd call them neocons, because I think a lot of these, like, newer conservatives are pretty anti-corporatist. I don't, I don't know what, like, I don't know what the new age breed of, like, the new conservatives are called. Trump conservatives, maybe, or whatever. Um... New right conservative Tea Party or ask Trumpist maybe I don't know. but they're not um they're not alt writers um, alt right people hate people like fucking Charlie Kirk and they hate that like the turning point you say like you've got like we can literally go up and we can literally watch videos where it's like Groypers troll Charlie Kirk like we can literally see this shit happen. Charlie Kirk destroys alt-right groiper losers. Um, you know, like, we literally have seen this shit where, they, where Nick uh, Fuentes tries to get his fans to go and, like, troll him and shit. Like, I, I hate that people... Like, it's all... Everyone is just... Everyone on the right is alt-right. That's not true. There's different flavors of conservatives. You actually are, like, doing yourself a disservice by not understanding, like, the differences in what they believe and why they believe the things that they do. Self a conservative at that time. Yeah, that's... that's everyone okay. knew that. I hadn't actually made and my formal announcement about yourself? leaving the right, no, but I was, this hold on, but I was, know this, but I want for my fans and other people that watch this, when did you stop labeling yourself conservative publicly? If you um, in the beginning of 2020, I think it was in March. So the that was publicly, my, the but I was already my, fighting the with the right my, a ton throughout okay. 2019. So your, so your problem is, is that you weren't actually attacking transgender people at that event but you were attacking transgender people up until basically 2020. Just no, that specific false event, you again. Were. He's not listening to, at all to what Hunter's saying. Mike is so desperately trying to eke out and own here. But the problem is that like Mike is in a very, 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 very tough position because he's actually so factually incorrect on so much of what he said coming into this that it's almost impossible for him to like eke out any type of rhetorical optical victory. And he, he can't, it's really hard because he keeps smacking himself into these stupid walls that he put in front of him that he just was lying about. Um, and he like, he is not engaging with anything that Hunter's saying. He's so desperately looking for an own. He's like a little kid trapped at the bottom of like a well that's like filling with his own piss. Um, it, it just, he's fucked. He's completely fucked. Okay. Oh, okay. I stopped my, stopped? I, I, listen, my stances and opinions on trans people started changing more and more behind the scenes. And that's reflective in my content. You can go so back you to want credit for something you did. I'm not asking publicly. for credit. See how you keep pivoting to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for credit. Because Mike wants credit. Mike wants credit for everything that he does. It's the thing that he's obsessed with the most is getting credit and public validation or whatever. People that didn't get a lot of validation in their life go on to become annoying attention seeking losers. Mike is one of those people desperately needs that validation maybe he didn't get it from his republican mom that's why he's like a crazy alt-left tanky person now here i'm just explaining well, you're saying that i lied about you when i when i might yes because you, you said public you said i was at a turning point usa okay. event at the end of 2019 attacking transgender people your claim there is that at the end of 2019 so very recently Hunter was attacking trans people. That is your claim, and your claim is wrong. And I think when that you should you concede that. When did you stop attacking trans people? When did you? I mean, I can. Gosh, I guess I can go through your fucking.
entire YouTube catalog. Why don't you just concede that you were wrong uh, here in this in this claim, and we can move on to the next conver- the next part of the conversation? The mm-hmm. claim the claim was you were literally at a turning you put you, turning point USA USA events at the end of 2019, attacking trans people. That's right. And That's I right. didn't attack trans people at that event. The opposite. At that point, by this time, just so you know, by yeah. this point, okay, I had made videos attacking anti-vaxxers. Oh, I, now Mike has switched to his conciliatory, like, okay, okay. Like, he's, like, done with it because he's so, so, so wrong. Made videos defending trans people very largely. I had had a... Uh, is anti-vax, is that a, is that a I was call, right thing? Is that it's a far right thing, yeah. And it, guess what? It lost me a lot of subscribers. I made a video um, attacking people uh, that were race realists. I made a video going through debunking race realism bullshit, okay? A lot of the I times... You- hold on. A lot of the times these videos were marketed in a way that did look offensive from the outside. If you see a video that says the truth about black people, of course that sounds fucking- I have you here in November 4th, 2019 with transgender kids, it's time to stop. Prepare to be shocked. Today we examine the dangerous push by the left for transgender children to undergo early- in- Now look at the pivot that Mike is trying to do. Mike is wrong on this tweet. He can't admit it. And now he's like, he's pro- probably with his fans, he's trying to scroll through and find like other videos where it's like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Right? Irreversible transitioning. I was talking so about is, some niche. I was after, no, no. So I was, was talking October 20, 20. Okay, so and I then any time that Mike thinks he has a win, this was on that. Now it's like now that you think you have a win, like the next part of the Mike strategy. So it's like step one is identify potential weakness. Step two, when you found it, escalate voice, scream and screech, employ fake laugh, pivot to the next topic. It's like standard Mike strategy for conversations. Let's see if the fake laugh comes. A, a video, a picture of you. The event was at October 23rd, 2019. On your YouTube right now, November uh-huh. 4th, 2019. Transgender kids, it's time to stop. Uh-huh. You were attacking transgender people. No, were, I wasn't. That's, were, that's, were, that's not you, true, actually. In that video, no. Right now? I'm making a point. Stop talking. So you here are claiming that there's this big push by the left to do irreversible transitions of children. That's actually this wrong. In that video, I talk about puberty blockers. Eight. That's not this true. Is and that, transphobic. No, in that what I was doing, okay, as my channel, oh. what, hold on, as my opinions were developing and changing, I was communicating oh, that in my channel in a way that would be digestible to a more right wing audience. If you watch that video, you'll see at the end, I actually talk about a good option for treatment oftentimes is puberty blockers. I was talking about these. Mike n- was asserting that anti vax isn't right wing ideology. He doesn't know shit. Yeah, that's actually funny too. This was literally, how, what does Mike follow that he doesn't know? that i feel like you how do you not know that like conservatives are probably more likely to be anti-vax than like left-leaning people what is he following to not have under like it's like so much of the conversation today nationally about like conservatives not trusting the vaccine and shit like how, how can you not know that that's so weird that he wouldn't understand that niche situations where there was like an i think an actual like experiment done i'm not sure i would have to go back and look at the video but either way that was before i announced that i had formally left the right and literally so you were pushing since, so what i'm saying is no so the, the thrust of what i was so from my point of view pushing a dangerous narrative that there's a bunch of leftists out there trying to forcibly transition children is garbage that's not what i said i don't trans- no i don't that, believe that's what, that's what i said is. in that video the video is I, about trying to highlight this a move by the left. You don't say a move by a few fringe people. You say a move by the left. I was still, yes, I still identified as a conservative because then, you, dude. Because, yes. What do you not understand so from that? Po- I under, you, why I, don't you understand that you were anti-trans when you were going to Turning Points USA events? Now, this is not me doing a purity test. This <laughs> oh is me my, yes, first of all, you, yes it is. But so, I'm that you've talking, moved I'm so talking, far away from the initial claim I'm, you made, which was that I was at this event attacking trans people. Hunter. The claim I made has been fully substantiated. So to be clear, the original claim was you went to this event and attacked trans people. And now the claim is you released a video on your YouTube channel at some point in the same year that you went to this event. And in that video, you challenge an aspect of children being given puberty blockers. Look at how look at how far we move from the original claim here. And he thinks he's actually justified his initial attack when he hasn't at all like i claimed you were attacking trans people and you were going to turning points usa events now you're right you didn't attack trans people at that event is it just me or was mike way better faith when you first started talking to him um maybe but i think it's because he saw me as like a potential leech target everybody when they first talked to me hassan vosh mike 
Um, everybody is like really good faith to me because I'm like a scary debater and because they usually know that they can profit off of our like interactions. So they're very kind, they're nice, they talk to me well and they get their audience. But then once they've like moved past that, then they turn on the, all right, where do I get the, uh, <laughs> the easy farming clout? But a week later, you went back home and you published a YouTube video spreading propaganda that's used against trans people. First trans of all, activists. I would have to go that back to look through that video, okay? Is. But I that know for a fact is, that that was buddy. My that is dude. What your legacy is. That's not now, even... Guess what? <laughs> Hold on. Guess no, no. what? Guess Do what? I get a chance I to talk? To Do I get a chance to talk? You haven't let me finish a sentence. Every the time funny I thing was that every single thing that I debated Mike on. And, and I admit, I am wrong on things. I don't get the, everything right. I, there's absolutely debates on But I think every single debate that I had with Mike, I ended up being 100% vindicated on everything. Um, the Bernie versus Biden thing, I was just, I was right from the start. We've got videos of Mike screeching, laughing at how dumb it was when I said I thought Biden would win. Gun pointed to your head, you have to pick one, Destiny. Who you think is gonna win? I think Biden. <laughs> Gun pointed to your head, you have to pick one, Destiny. <laughs> yeah, that is who's gonna win. Who you think? Fuck. What an idiot! Um, the Medicare for All thing and its popularity and how overblown it was because certain people did it, I was 100% right on that. Mike tried to do like some um, like statistical alchemy to prove that I was incorrect on that, but no, I was 100% correct on the support for that. Um, there was one other topic that we talked about, everything related to finance and stock buybacks or whatever, he was clueless on as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, behavioral economics, what is a rational actor? Yeah. Do not interrupt me in the middle the of a fucking sentence. I did, not come here to talk to you. Not I did not come here to talk to you. I did not come here to talk to you. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to mute you. <laughs> oh, wait, really? Okay. Wait, what were you saying, well, Alexis? Like, wait, can you talk to me real quick? What were you but, saying? Okay. All I was trying to say is that, yes, the company can think that their shares are undervalued, but a shareholder can go, actually, I want cash right now, even though it might be better. You are literally the dumbest motherfucker I've ever heard. That's why you have an undergrad and not anything higher. So, Go back to studying, little boy. Wait, what, what degrees do you have in economics or finance? Do you, do we want to do a credential debate. Okay, like, that's what I thought. Okay, so right. call, so slow down there, okay? Whoa, because really have, slow down. Oh, oh, oh my wait, God. what is your undergrad in? I, because my wait, what is your, wait, wait, wait. is in my, my Juris Doctorate, my specialization in education. If we will, I've tried to hold back credentials because I don't think they matter. Okay. The securities arbitration. Okay? So shut the fuck up. My credentials annihilate this dumb undergrad. By the way, idiot. Okay, the, I don't I don't know specifically what that is, but it's crazy to me that you have that level of education. You don't know what it means to be a rational agent in like basic econ theory. Of course theory, I do. I oh my you, god, I've read it. Failed to misunder time. if you knew oh that, god. you wouldn't have to wiki it to read it to me. That's what I do because I don't have I a formal education. Okay. Have, I read it, I read <laughs> that, it so this is why I wiki things. Time. You shouldn't have to. We didn't okay? have to waste our fucking time. <laughs> Ugh. I make a sentence, you you start talking in the middle. So the problem that we're having here is that I would like you to change. But the first step to rehabilitation and restorative justice is for you to admit that these were harmful, these were dangerous, and you they don't represent you anymore. I, I would, would have to go back to look. Every Hold on. single one of the I... videos you don't agree with anymore because that would be a substantial move. So first of all, that would be a substantial move for you. Okay, can I respond now, please, you Mike? You don't believe this anymore. I know you just to want to preach at me, but I also want to respond. I'm not preaching. I'm giving you. I'm giving you an example of restorative justice. And all right, go ahead. Want, Give me the list. I'm going to write it down. You don't. That would be private the videos that publish ideas you don't agree with anymore. Okay. That would be the first step. All right. The second would be apologize for the bad videos you made, and third, stop making videos attacking feminists, attacking leftists that you don't know, you don't... I am so curious. This was a week ago. How many... Has Mike completely shat on AOC and everything yet? Did he do it today on his stream? Because I feel like every motherfucker is probably hating AOC now. All of our white Twitter fans are probably so livid. Holy shit. I mean, you've never talked to. And then I won't have to go and point out that your one of your top videos is calling AOC an idiot the one uh, your other top first of all I'm not really worried about the AOC videos. thing I don't have to agree with your like far your, your like left stuff to be like what happened with AOC AOC has matured into a based lawmaker who is on one end when she can do it in an effective manner 
preach a very far left agenda, farther left than what I would like, um, but on the other hand is trying to work within the framework of the legislature in order to be more politically effective. So she simultaneously supported Cubans' rights to protest against the anti-democratic Cuban regime, which is fine. And then on the back of that statement, she heavily criticized the United States and their continual embargo against Cuba and said that the Biden administration's defense of the embargo was unacceptable and inhumane, which I thought was a fair statement. It was a really good statement, I think. Um, I think the AOC has learned a lot in the few years. Do I like AOC now? Mm, her politics are way too left for me, but I think it's really interesting to see how she's like matured as like a uh, as somebody in Congress over like a year or two because she came in like flying off the handle as like this hyper idealistic lefty that was never going to get anything done, and now like assuming she still wins her election, and everything. I haven't seen her popularity recently in her district. I imagine it's still high, um, although there's weird redistricting shit, but. Um, I, I imagine she has the chance to be like a pretty politically effective, pretty left-leaning legislature in the, in, in the legislator in the future. That's what it seems like, but we'll see. Considered rehabilitated, so we can so move off the AOC thing. So you think of AOC thing. as an idiot? You think of I AOC would have as to again. I, these are older videos. I'd have to go back and look at. So let's actually go through this. You this. Know, yeah, because you want to keep that money rolling. You like mm -hmm. that AOC hate money. Okay, yeah, I got to keep that money. Hey, Mike, can I talk now, please? Because you gave me a list, and I'd like to go through this. So the first mm -hmm. thing, private the videos. If you'd like, we can pull up my social blade and look at how I have already privated a fuck ton of my videos. My most Still popular, did more harmful shit. I was Hold able on. to find one Hold right on. here. Wait, can you wait, please? Some of these videos that I removed had over 3 million views and I purged my channel of over 20 million views. Now, some of these videos that are still up that are kind of old that I might not agree with are not monetized. And uh, some of these videos that you're pointing to, like the transgender children one, that wasn't that long ago. I would have to look over that video again. But either way, your uh, assertion that I need to private videos, I have done largely. Now, I don't know if you know this and I'm not saying this to be demeaning, but if I were to just terminate or like nuke every video that would essentially kill my channel even more than it's already been murdered because I moved away from the right. So, okay, so your concern is your financial No, yeah, the financial wrong. No, it's that I cannot just them. I cannot literally I literally cannot just nuke my entire channel. This has to be done in a process. Okay? And the next thing you said, apologize. The transition to like making left wing content. You, you want to do it slowly. No, over I'm, not, time. I'm not like this is what you, you 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 think that I'm here to like try to make this like left wing content when that's not my goal. My intention here is to just share the way that my opinion has shifted. OK, and a lot of my old videos out of all the Spurgy games you played in the past two years, I'm surprised you haven't touched City Skyline Destiny. It's by far the best base building game in existence. Uh, I really liked City Skyline. I thought it was a sick fucking game. And then I got totally turned off by the. Uh, um, I got totally turned off by the traffic management. It was way too AIDS for me late on. Um, I think I, I probably synced. Did I put over 100 hours in that game? I, put, I feel like I played that quite a bit. Oh, it's like, okay, 55 hours. I played this a little bit, enough. Uh, but the traffic management in the end gets like way, 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 way too cancerous. Fuck that shit. Um, the tra like the game turns into literally like City Skylines into Traffic Simulator. It's like one of the most, like that's like the only thing that matters. <laughs> Although I know there are mods you can download and shit. That I had views that I no longer agreed with, I have privated and deleted them. And not only that, not only have, a, have I privated uh, these videos, I have lost subscribers, a fuck ton by the way, nearly 80,000. I've lost money, okay? And I've made videos where I debunk these old videos. Videos where I talked about liking Donald Trump, I've debunked that one. Videos where I criticized trans people, I've debunked that one. Videos where I said that they're, uh, that gay people were weird or whatever, I debunked that one. I went through and I have debunked this shit, okay? So not only have I privated these videos, and not only have I quote unquote apologized for the videos, I have offered substantial responses and breakdowns of why those videos were wrong and why my opinions have shifted. So two notes on your list, I feel I have accurately uh, met those goals. Privating the videos, I'm still in the process of privating more. Like I said, it has to be done in a process. But if you want, we can pull up my social blade and see how many views I lost. Would you like to look at it? I mean, we can, we can look at your social blade if that'll, that is something you feel is useful. I'm not going to control your, your arguments. Bring them up. I, I, I think I think, I think you're starting issue. to realize that you were wrong and that your attack no, was I'm really, not, no. really uncharitable. 
No, you're a, you're the one who's been attacking me uncharitably. All right, Didn't so you make a hit video of me without talking to me about any of my positions. And you I'm supposed to hit you up before I make a video after you publicly yeah, you attack should. someone for charity. You Give me should. Your your like roommates was one of my friends, right? Like. It's, that has not like nothing we're, to we're do not, with anything, like bro. It's That's not like we're fucking. Private. It's not like we line, we don't have bro. any connections. Okay. We're not like we're strange. We're total strangers. Hey, can you go back, <laughs> please, really quick, and look at my social? One of the funny things is that like Mike will only talk to people that he can get clout from. Um, it's funny because he tried to take shots at me on Twitter randomly. I don't remember what happened. Maybe was it? Some, I don't remember. Something happened, but like um, for some reason, Mike decided to say like, "Oh, like Destiny's canvassing efforts was literally him and like twelve people in like one weekend." And it was like, "Why would you say that?" Like. I, I streamed the event. Like people saw, we had over a hundred people on the final weekend. Like, you, like it was on video. Like how, how can you even make that up? <laughs> what, what do you think? Why would you even say that? And then he, and then after that he blocked me and he said, I don't want to talk to Destiny. He's too toxic. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck, bro? You can't just make shit up about me. Get mad when I call you out and then call me. It's like, he's, damn, it's like a repeated man. Maybe the problem is minor. It's like Hassan, um, Vosh. Like as soon as you call them out on something like factually and accurately, uh, and inaccurate. They're like, oh, he's toxic. I got to leave. Bye. Like, Jesus. Go circle jerk harder. Blade, I have a question. So the, the month of June 2019, where you're pulling these videos what? from, what? you can... Hold on. June 2019, I, I said there was one that was November you said where the, 2019, which was after you okay. said... Can, can you please you keep going through? Points event. Can you please... After you went to your turning points event, you okay. posted can, a video attacking trans people. So everything I said is actually true. No, it wasn't. You did and attack trans you, No, what you're... <laughs> after... What you said. USA people. Did you or did you not? You are so post talk justifying a statement that you know is but incorrect, is it right my dude. Or is it wrong? It's did wrong. You trans, so you didn't attack trans people. I want you to open up my social blade. Okay. Wait, no, no, you don't pivot. This did is not a pivot. We were just after, on the social blade. You're the one that just pivoted. A, after going to a Turning Points USA event that you were invited to because you were alt right. Did you or did you not? Hold on. No one cares about you. Now, the Bo stuff, that was cringe. Remember when he wasn't talking about the child trafficking thing? Mike, uh, that was a whole bunch of cringe from all sides, to be fair. Mike was wrong, but Bo was also super wrong and did fucked up shit. Um, but Mike was, Mike also happened to be wrong and did, I, I don't know how he managed to be, well, it's because he didn't care. He was, he was just trying to clout farm. Um, I'm trying to remember how this did. Mike made it sound like Bo was like personally profiting like millions of dollars off of this shit or whatever, which was just not true. Bo was just like one man in this like basically this immigrant this illegal immigrant funneling ring. Um, but then Bo tried to make it sound like he was heroically saving immigrants from others. No, he wasn't. He was just bringing over poor people and then ripping them off for visas to fuck them over to make them work as like Im immigrant slaves in the U.S. <laughs> All sides of that was um, cringe. You know what? It might be that Bo. I don't know if his reputation survived or not, but if it did, it might be because Mike was the one to expose him. And Mike's expose was so fucking bad that uh, that, that Bo's like, internet reputation survived, which is really funny. Um, you don't think it's kind of weird that everyone on the left automatically forgave Bo for that shit? Uh, I, no, I actually do believe it because Mike was such a bad exposer that people eventually sided with Bo. That's not surprising at all to me. But if you actually read through the court documents, and I, think, I think we did on stream. Um, Bo was helping, I think what Bo did, I want to be careful not to get this wrong. Uh, I, I think that what Bo was doing was he was the one that was helping women go and get visas or forge visas or something in order to come over to the U.S. That was his job. He'd show up and he'd get their information to like do the visa process or the passport process. But the, um, but the, but the whole process was basically like you'd get, a, 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 you'd get some woman to come over to the U.S., and then once they're there, you tell them, well, if you want to leave, you got to pay us $3,000. Otherwise, you need to work as an illegal immigrant for less than minimum wage, basically. That's what Bo was involved in. Um, and he did it. And it was illegal. He wasn't saving anybody. It was fucked up. Um, he didn't run the company, though. He wasn't, like, making millions personally. He was just an employee. He was, like, a cog in the wheel. But, like, yeah. Um, but Mike was, like, Mike handled that so cringily um, that, uh, yeah, Bo's <laughs> reputation survived. Mike might be single-handedly... Like, Mike was like the inoculation. Mike was actually a Bo vaccine. Because now when anyone attacks Bo in the future, that he can just point to the Mike shot he took and be like, well, look, somebody would attack me over this. We've already been through it. It's no big deal. Well, Mike might have actually some handedly saved Bo's career in the public sphere. Who knows? It was real bad from what I call Destiny. It was like blatantly breaking employment law, abusing employees, if I recall correctly. I don't know what you mean by abusing employees. He wasn't like beating anybody doing crazy shit. But he was clearly involved in like illegal visa like forgery, 100%. Yeah, it, fuck breaking employment laws. It was literally like a fucking illegal immigrant smuggling ring to bring people over and fuck their lives over. He wasn't really a cog in the wheel. He was an employee of a company of three people. Yeah, I think it was like three or four people. I'm just saying like he wasn't like the owner of like 
some huge multi-million dollar legal ring. He wasn't making like, also fair to point out Bo went to jail over it too for four years, I think, right? Yeah, when Bo was trying to say what he was doing, Bo was making it sound like he was like a coyote runner, like saving impoverished Mexicans and bringing them to the U.S. to live a better life. Bo's video was way, 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 way wrong. Um, but yeah, you got away from it. So That's a lie. People. Poisoning the well right there. One, I was not alt-right. In fact, I was never really considered alt-right, even when I was pretty far right. And you did were more just like, well, how would you describe it? Kind of like I did. I definitely associated with people that were alt-right. And I fucking would you call Sargon of Akkad alt-right? Yeah, that's why I was back then. I don't think Sargon of Akkad was alt right. I could be now. Uh, I don't even want to say as of recently, fuck, because I haven't watched recently. But back then, Sargon of Akkad was like a gamer bro, like anti SJW. Um, I'm pretty sure that like all the alt rider people still like bullied Sargon and fought with Sargon and shit. Um, I, I I don't think Sargon of Akkad was alt right. He was like he was like a gamer bro. He just arguing with him that entire conference another detail you left out by the way in your video on me about whether or not you guys were getting demonetized by tech and i was telling him it he wasn't and that it was a conservative victim he was mentality. literally called soygon yeah. i've literally still defend those statements that was the beginning I mean, I of my fallout with I the know, right I, like the i agree with you with that I mean, okay great so click my social blade core. now i want you to look at core. something did you I, link it to me yeah i put it down in the, the chat okay, right cool, here cool. okay sorry i wasn't looking at that okay so click this and okay, you'll see, go down to monthly gained video views. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So first of all, you can see my sub growth. Yes, I can see your sub growth. You can see how great those grifter numbers are doing. All right. Um, okay, yep. And then, yeah, you can go over here. You can see in June of 2019, I okay, terminated. So what, okay, hold on. What month did you pivot from the right? When I Mike keeps asking for this unrealistic standard. What month did you pivot? It wasn't a month. Like that type of political transformation could take years or at least multi several months. Like, why does he keep asking for this one fucking... Came out as being um, a, more of a centrist. It was, it would have been March, I believe. Which you can see right before then, and before that also. In June of 2019, I deleted nearly 12 million channel views. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that's more views than your entire Twitch channel has. Then, if you go over here to the month of December 2019, you can see that I deleted another 3.5 million views. Then, yeah. if you go over here to the month of July 2020, you can see I terminated another 2.8 million views. So, you ask me to delete the videos. I, I have been doing that. Like I said, it's a process. You can see here that it's been still moving in a process. And actually, I've been gearing up to, be, to uh, start pur to, uh, bleh, to purge another batch of these videos. But nonetheless, okay, so you most of me, these videos are not monetized. That's the most, okay, so you agree with me. You just want to do it in the most advantageous way for your channel. My dude, do you think if I was prioritizing the the, 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 my channel benefiting, do you think I would have wait, wait, ever... Wait, wait, why are you, why aren't you answering, why are you answering the question with the question? Is yes because is I the answer, right? No, because, I, I mean, okay, no. Okay, then do yeah, it all no. now, you, but then it'll kill your channel, which means you're, so you're contradicting yourself. I I, can somebody give me the clip of Mike talking about local action? I really want to see that clip right now. Oh, wait, Linkers, this is your, this has been your day to shine, Linkers. Hunter should just own that, by the way, too. It's like, yeah, I don't want to, like, totally nuke my channel in the algorithm and just quit YouTube. But that's totally fair for Hunter to say, by the way. So Mike keeps being so critical of... Um, of Hunter for trying to make it so he doesn't completely lose his whole fucking channel. This is Mike when he's pressed on why he never talks about mutual aid. Seems like that might be more to get involved in the process. Seems like that might be more fruitful than having another one of these uh, discussions that does nothing. Okay. The reason why people organize around presidential elections is because they get uh -huh. tens of billions of dollars of free media. It's a Social unifying and, and it's a unifying yes. arg, it's a unifying election that everybody in the entire country knows about and it gives us a common language that we can reach more and more people. If you go into mutual aid stuff, that I is inherently close, yeah. a very local mm -hmm. action. If I go yes. and do a mutual aid Correct. shit, yes. my audience will go from thousands of people to 50 people. What? Because Lucid, I think Lucid Fox, he can't even believe that Mike is saying this out loud. This is, Mike is supposed to, you're supposed to keep this quiet. You're, this is this is the part you're not supposed to say out loud. <laughs> like, they're going to all be in their own communities doing local actions and not doing anything that's oriented towards national politics. What? This is a defeating, and also, can we be real? Be real? Who's going to turn, can you show me the mutual what? aid streamers? 
of people that just sit there discussing mutual aid all day. What are you talking about? You can do you can diversify your content. You can talk about more than just that. What? Okay, guys. I I, I mean <laughs> if it's And then Mike gets really mad. One thing I noticed too, I need to watch more streamers doing this. A lot of streamers look hardcore to their chat for validation. Look at how his like eyes go down. He's like head nods a little bit. Like he's hardcore looking. Like please, somebody support what I'm saying in chat. And then he gets like really defeated and sad when like his chat is shitting on him. Talking about you can do you can diversify your content. You can talk about more than just that. Look, oh he sees that. So it's a grift, is what you're saying. What? And he gets upset. Okay, guys. <laughs> I I I mean, <laughs> if it's just. A Oh man. Anyway, back to this. So anyway, it's so funny that Mike, this guy, this scumbag fuck, is the one trying to criticize Hunter for keeping his channel alive. It's really funny, but... You're so you want me to nuke guys. my entire channel? No, I think you should leave up all the positive videos that you have that are, that are agree that you agree I would with. have to go back to those videos that you're pointing out to no, see I mean, if they the have any work, fundamental guess, so disagreement that's that I the still hard work have. Of, of, of saying that you're leaving the alt-right is to go back and review all the damage you've done. Mike, and saying, I've done well, this. I've done all this. Stop damage. it. I've you're done you're gatekeeping this. again. Well, it, so no, what, here's what you're saying. Let, no, 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 let's... You what someone who is actually sorry I don't care for what, what they did would do. Like, come on, man. Were you, is it true that you used to be a former Republican? Uh-oh. Dude. This was before I was any kind of public figure. So uh, uh, wait, before you were any kind of public figure, when you ran for office? What? Is that, tr is it true that you used to be a registered Republican? Absolutely. <gasps> People can change. Are you serious? What? I what? I believe in changing. I believe in changing. Interesting. Wait, Arthur. you switched to being a Democrat just so you could run against the candidate that already BTFO'd your mom in the same race? Oof. That sounds okay, really so griftery, wait, dude. Wait Apparently, you wait raised over 50k. What? Shit. First of all, I raised the funny thing too is Mike is talking. So I don't know if Hunter picked some of this, but Mike is talking so much in this video about like why won't Hunter delete his old videos if he doesn't agree with them anymore. Remember why this started? It's because Mike got really upset that Hunter deleted a tweet that he no longer agreed with. <laughs> that was the point of this whole. The, that was the beginning of this entire interaction. <laughs> over 100k you go up, you should go holy look fuck it up. this guy raised over and 100k you know, by just switching you know, to being a democrat and you sounds know like how, something a you grifter who, would do, you know do. Who i raised you know who i raised it from you know who i raised it from <laughs> who that would be planned parenthood <gasps> that would be the afl cio holy shit so you switched to the left be, and got a bunch of money and benefited PA. from this and got some no, publicity no, mother no, dumb motherfucker that's the point so i bad. actually did real work campaigning with real people had the support of real I've heard your speech and I don't really I need it what in, you're doing right I now wasn't is wasn't in turning points USA doing cancer shit after Bernie Sanders had announced his second campaign you were out there I've seen your propaganda. clips man I've seen you spreading you are... your bullshit about Bernie and oh he's gonna win and then you got really embarrassed <laughs> when he didn't and everything way, else but we don't need to talk minute, about any a, of this right now because what were I you even were you even a supporter of Bernie Sanders um who cares when, in the general uh this last time no I voted for Biden so you were never a, a supporter of Bernie Sanders, and you're um, no, no, no. That's not true. No, no, no. I, I liked Bernie Sanders. I did, but you liked Bernie Sanders, yeah. right? Okay. You liked him in hindsight. Now that your friends uh, are Bernie Sanders supporters, okay. you now, my dude, are you're jumping all around right now, and what you're trying to do is preach to me, and it's not going to work. So let's get back to what we were talking preaching. about first this of all. Is all your what you're trying your to do. Be so here's the thing about you, Mike. You no, are, I don't want your psychoanalyzing right now. You need to let me respond. At bad faith attacks on people's character. That's what the you're doing right now, labeling your... me a former fascist. Give me a fucking break. Former. Now what? I mean that. Okay. Yeah, um, that's what you former in quotes because you're implying that I'm still a fascist. Okay, I I, get, I I think you're more of an opportunist. I don't think that you're a fascist. I, get I, what you, you just I, I know what you think, you, Mike, you, but I just I, I, just I really want to get back to what you're saying. So okay. you're you're trying to basically it's gatekeep. Okay. You're saying it doesn't count. It's not a gatekeep. My, no, man. yes, you are. It's you're saying unless you purge you your channel of every single video all at once, this very instant, then it's just because you want your channel to benefit. Why are you creating a straw man? Why are you creating a straw man? Is that man? That's not, not a straw man. That is actually verbatim what Mike was saying. That he should wipe every video that exists that he doesn't 100% agree with. That is actually exactly what you were saying, Mike. You just said. I never said purge everything right this instant, do it right now, you call just, me daddy. But what I did said he is, not if just you say this? He, he did literally just say that. That is actually ver almost verbatim what he said. I mean, okay, no. Okay, then do yeah, it all no. now. You, but then it'll kill your channel, which means you're, so you're contradicting yourself.
Okay, do you believe... Hey, chat, can we get a clip, why please? Why do you... Wait, wait, why do no, you... No, because I'm going to hold you, you to your believe? words because everything well, you yes, tried to I, deny... I gave you, an, I gave you an example. I didn't stamp my feet and say, do it all right this moment. Do yeah, it all no. now. You, I asked you why you haven't done it because you agree that they're harmful, right? Your old videos are harmful videos, right? Uh, my harmful old videos I've largely removed. There are still some up that so I'm going to be removing. So everything up right now, you would say you agree no, with right now? No, not everything. So the, Stop. So you, You're doing so it again. are they harmful? Or do you agree with them? There are some content. There's still some content up that I agree would be harmful that I don't agree with that I'm in the process of still removing, Mike. That's what okay. I'm saying. So there are harmful videos that people are watching, right? Like some right wingers are still watching some of your videos. I don't right? know. I mean, I've, I've go look at how many subscribers I've lost. Like I purged my audience from far right wingers and I'm now purging my audience of just like sometimes even regular right wingers. Like, do you know how many people are calling me like a grifter, uh, right wing, uh, or I'm sorry, left wing soy boy shill or whatever, because now I think that like trans people deserve well, human rights everybody and shit. To the, everybody to the left of Attila the Hun is a soy boy to them. So. I know. And anyone that's to the right of you, you call like a fascist. True. So, <laughs> incorrect you're you nope. just created a f i am not vouch talking about bush here okay first of I all every, i would like I to just get back to what we were i don't we call were. everybody a fascist and and <clears throat> delete the term would I you delete some of your videos if you think they're harmful fuck no i think that it's good to see growth it's why i, I don't delete like people like dig up like old reddit comments from like 10 years ago so they're like i and you know maybe one day i'll get i'll cancel for it or whatever and you know it's whatever fuck you i don't give a fuck you know i get better things to do in my life than try to appease a bunch of fucking worthless like grass-eating losers on the internet um i think that in a perfect world i think it's good to show growth somebody thought this 10 years ago this is what they said nine or ten years ago it was a different time is a different place this is what they say today i like to see that evolution and i think other people should be able to see it too i'm not gonna pretend that i am the person i am and i have been the exact same for the past fucking two decades my life i think that's ridiculous i think sargon of akkad is a fascist I did you call me Donald a fascist hey did i call you a fascist i don't know if I here we go again fascist, we're gonna right? we're gonna keep know, on I doing it i did or not I dude you're so right. fucking you disingenuous no you didn't if i call it it's not disingenuous i literally don't it's what, and i think i've even said this on stream before uh, I hate Cal Kalinske. He's, I've said this a million times, he's one of the dumbest motherfuckers that does political commentary today, easily. Like, bottom of the barrel fucking dipshit. But, I respect him for keeping his old tweets up. And I think it's really cringy when people try to, like, drag his old tweets out and attack. I don't know if people attack it more as they just, like, see it as, like, funny and whatever. But, um, I respect him for not deleting his old tweets. It's good. Oh, if that's right. You know what? You're right. Disingenuous is the, is the wrong word. You're did a, I, uh... Did I call you? Yes. Here's, here's the tweet. Quote, former fascist with values to the right of... Oh my god, Hunter just got all the tweets, dude. Holy shit. Quote, former fascist with values to the right of Antonin Scalia. Okay. This is You put former yeah. in quotes. What do you think that means? Former. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You were alt-right. No, no. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. I think, so I think when you put former in quotes, fascist. are you not trying to imply that what I'm doing there is... Why did you delete that? That I'm still uh, tweet, a fascist. By the way. Why did you delete the tweet about burning flags is as cringe? I clarified as, because the, what, for the same reason that, that I think that burning the flag is kind of cringy is the why same is reason that I deleted the, the tweet cringy? because why I think that the flag because I think that the messaging cringy? can sometimes come across in a way that harms uh, the potential to grow your movement. And in this case, as a public figure, I have a responsibility to make sure that my messaging is interpreted so burning properly. The flag, should that be illegal or is it no. just, just cringe? No. Notice how you cr uh, criticize me right here. He's wielding the cringe baton like every other right winger online you seem That's very what you do isn't it is that what you do hold on wait 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 Stop. isn't that what you do is that what you do in most mike of your videos? i'm like, making a broader attack. point and you're not gonna wait. just cut no, in no, here no, and no. gish at me okay you i'm asking you isn't that what you do in most of your videos you what you do is you find someone as a target he's literally you can't you, you do pivot so much they, oh right? god Okay, I'm gonna have to gear up. I, I have to remember how much like how much you pivot. So you've made it very well known, okay, mm -hmm. that you don't like the use of my word cringe. Do you think that saying something's cringy is the same as advocating for something to be illegal? No, I didn't say that. So why did you say that I, I share the position? Question. Hold I on. Asked you a In question. your video, you said I share the position with Donald Trump and then played a clip of Donald Trump saying you should go to prison for burning the flag, something that I myself have criticized Donald Trump for. So I was that first of all, that's not what I did. I explained. Do we want to go back and look at the clip since you're should, denying should, everything go, that you've go done? And, go, go, go and watch the clip. Okay. I was showing the context of why the difference between burning the flag and pledging of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance is done to every five year old in American schools. It's that's also really weird because then you went on to like. Why are you talking?
It's disgusting and tore down a set children to do the leftist credit, pledge of allegiance. Everybody who's not an American looks at that and goes, "That's fucking weird." All right, hold on one second. But it's a position. Donald Trump is out there, and the Republican Party tried to get a constitutional amendment to make it illegal to burn the flag. They I know that's really fucking bad, burning. and I criticized it. And they have arrested people. They have assaulted people for burning the flag. All right, I'm and trying to watch the clip Scalia, now. So can we hold on one second, please? Decision, in a five-four decision, Antonin and Scalia. All right, hold on. Hold on. Sided with the liberals. I know. I'm, I'm very glad about that. I, legal. I've defended this multiple now, times. You're, why? You're, wait, I'm sorry. Fuck, I was just typing a message. Why is Mike even going off on this? Is he just trying to showcase like random like trivia knowledge? Like if I ever go to Jeopardy, I know that there was a 5-4 case about burning the flag. Like, one second. But it's a position. Donald Trump is out there, and the Republican Party tried to get a constitutional amendment to make it illegal to burn the flag. They I know that's really fucking bad, burning. and I criticized it. And they have arrested people. They have assaulted people for burning the flag. All right, I'm and trying to watch the clip Scalia now, so can we hold on one second, please? How many people got arrested for burning the flag? I mean, it's legally, it's protected, right? Like, I'm, I'm sure it's happened at least once, but like, is it? In a 5-4 decision, Antonin and Scalia. All right, hold on, hold on. Sided with the liberals. I know, I'm, I'm very glad about that. I, legal. I've defended this multiple now, times. You're, you're preaching to you're someone who already agrees with you, my you're friend. Out, now you're out there saying burning the flag is cringe because you're, because of who you are. Something can still be legal but also be cringe, Mike. Like, nothing you do on stream is illegal, but all of it is fucking cringe. No, can, okay. And you don't understand the <laughs> Can we just watch the, the clip, people? please? Because you're just preaching to me, and I'm begging you to just shut up for a minute so I can watch the clip. This is not trying to are make arguments. leftist organizers and radical people right now, marginalized so among the left. While I show my Fuck you. you. I'm going to have to show my First chat. First time the, you've ever heard them, have No, no, I have to show my chat the, the clip here where you said, where you tried to compare my position to Donald Trump's. So, do you want to... Hold on just one second. It's at the six minute mark of your video. With a capital, fuck you. And the other thing is, I got to tell you that this is a position that's shared with Donald wait, Trump. Wait, wait, wait. Are you playing? This is a position that's shared with Donald Trump or by Donald Trump. That's what you said. That's the quote. Hold on okay. one second. Let me watch. Let me watch the clip. Okay. Mike's gonna be like, well, Donald Trump also thinks it's cringe. <laughs> It'd be like me saying, like, I don't like Dan. And someone's like, huh, that's a position that's shared by fucking Hitler. Whoa, bro. I don't hate Jews. I never said, like, you hated Jews. I'm just saying Hitler would probably also not like Dan. <laughs> like, okay, bro. No way does Mike go there. You're, you've got such a delay on your stream, so it's really long. I do have a delay on the stream, yeah. My internet sucks. Is a position that's shared with Donald Trump. I'm gonna have to literally write down no, every. Right. No, no, oh, no, that, that. So first of all, Donald Trump doesn't think they're equally as cringy. Donald Trump thinks burning the flag is obviously should be legal. So that's not a position. Sh now, the idea of so it, are you admitting the then that that was a cringy. little bit of an unfair what I would say comparison is, because obviously say me saying is, something's is, cringy is, isn't the same. What I would say is he would agree that burning the flag is bad. <laughs> That's such a fucking... I think that, by the way, I love guns. I think that open carry is cringe as fuck. But I'm not... That doesn't mean I want to make it illegal. And if somebody wanted to make it illegal, you wouldn't say that we had the same position just because we both think it's cringe. God, Mike is such a weaselly fuck. Okay. And you agree with Donald Trump that burning the flag is bad, right? I mean, That's I think that... No, no, no. I, this is called a little bit of hyperbole, but go on. Okay, so I, I, can, I can literally... I don't know how much of my stream you saw, but I, I wrote out like a little explanation. So maybe if you'd like me to read it to you. Um, what I said is that um, leftists... Oh, you changed your position after you got a lot of pushback. And no, like, no, no, this is another lie. Cheap. I'm so glad you brought this up. Okay, great. Now I get to make you eat your words again. This is great for me. You Thanks. didn't make me eat shit. You didn't make me eat shit at all. All right, hold on. Yeah. We're going to go ahead over to this one now. We're going to go ahead to... Uh, here's this video. If I was Hunter, I would drop a tactical N-word right now. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time, I'm sure. I have... Nope, that's not even true. But again, trying to poison the well. You would defend their right to... All right, hold on. Wait, right. stop, right because you made a claim. Look at him that trying to pivot so hard to anything else. That was wrong again, and we're going to keep on going through it. I don't care. All right, go to the uh, three-minute, 12-second mark here from a video in June 22nd, 2020. All right, hold on. Where I say the right, same on. thing. We're not supposed to be hearing anything right now. Are we? Keep watching because I also clarify that it's bat that it's a constitutional right and people are allowed to do it. 
Okay, this is good. I'm listening. <laughs> Did you play it? No, I'm I'm I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to me. Okay. I'm waiting for you to watch it. Okay, hold <laughs> Sorry, on. Sorry. What, what's the what's the clip? Where, where, where is I it sent at? it to you. In the your thing is, yeah. Even if Hunter did change his mind because he got a lot of pushback, isn't that a good thing? Isn't that what we'd want? Like, even if that was the case, why is Mike attacking him for that? Like, oh, you got a lot of pushback and you change. Like, yeah. Isn't that the point of pushback? Even if that was the case, like, who cares? Discord DMs. Okay. Uh, it's the, the truth about the Trump at three and... minutes. Okay, three minutes. Go, or right, three minutes, cool. twelve seconds. I need to put this on a second. As I watched this right, clip, three I was thirty seconds. You said so. No, three minute twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. And you really, you really researched your old clips, huh? Mike is really mad because Hunter was ready for this entire conversation, and Mike is just stumbling from one like wall to another, and he's completely fucked. I research my content when I'm get, when I know uh, that I'm going to get bad uh, faith fucking actors. Incredibly disappointed. I don't think burning the flag is appropriate. I think it's douchey and rude. And I think that the people who do it tend to be stupid little rat weasels. So I get it. I don't like burning the American flag. And I understand that there are a lot of people here that are trying to be patriotic. So they take offense when people burn the flag as well. Okay. So However, hold on. Keep did watching play, it. Did you, wait, did keep you play the clip? Did you play the clip on your on your stream? Yeah, did you play? Comes the condescending like scream laugh. Did you play? Did you play? <laughs> The rat face is uh, materializing right now, if it hasn't already. Right where I said it's the constitutional It is right? your freedom of speech. No, no, no. Uh, it is your you freedom of expression. Your it is your I'm constitutional right, right to right, burn on. the American flag. It is your constitutional right to burn the American flag. So, so, no, no, the point was that people that burn the flag are what? Weasley? No, no, you said... Cringy? No, on. Rat Weasley? Rat Weasel? Yeah, yeah, he said... Yeah, so I think that a lot of the times it kind of turns into a, a meaningless the gesture that, that a lot of the, the times people, people that, don't understand. But people that's not that the point. It, the point the people here. People that do it are weaselly little rat, stupid little weaselly. That's not the point, buddy. Stop. Okay. Tend to be. It's not. That's not the point, though. Yeah, it's Mike is totally like not understanding. He doesn't say it should be illegal. He just thinks it's cringe. Like I think open carry is cringe as fuck. Everybody that does it is cringe. But if somebody tried to attack me saying, "Do you think it should be illegal?" Like I didn't say it should be illegal. I just said it's cringe as fuck. Well, actually, I'm, actually, I actually might think it should be illegal, but it wouldn't be the same thing if that was all I was saying, right? Like, these stupid little rat weasels. So, so your claim here burn was the flag are stupid little rat weasels. Hold on, and you're saying this is you're not a so hard. Is this, you're this trying is so hard right now, Mike, position? and I appreciate it. I do. Okay, but listen, your wait, claim. So wait a minute. Just so you stop. So you are. So Mike. you do think burning the flag is stupid little rat weasels? That, I would, yeah, but that's never been what they've been talking about. Why is it like, oh, so you, he's like trying to get an own in an argument that he was never making. And do it. I don't advocate for Can it. you tweet that I, right now? People that burn the flag are stupid little... Why shouldn't you open carry? I mean, it's situational depending on where you are. I personally think that when you have a firearm on you, the last thing you want is for people to be nervous or jumpy around you. And open carry usually contributes to an environment where people can feel like nervous or uncomfortable. And why the fuck would you ever want to create the type of environment if you have a firearm? That's why I personally don't like open carry. But if you're like in like a rural country place or in the South or whatever, and it's more normalized, it's probably fine to open carry, I guess, if you want. But like all of your tactical advantage and like a lot of the reasons for having a firearm are kind of negated. If somebody walks into a grocery store and they say you're the only one with a gun, I, I just think open carry is really dumb. It feels like people do it with a dick wave, but... Little rat weasels. Hey, Mike, I know that you're like Can trying you to like back me? me into something that looks optically <laughs> no, no. bad because that's like all but you care about or something. But are. hold on. This but, is what but, you no, no, claimed. No, no. Your claim was you switched your position when you got pushed back. But that's that not clip. not a switch position at all, my dude. What are you talking I, about? <laughs> exactly. My Thank dude. you. Great. You've conceded my point. Thank you. Your claim was, quote, I... you switched your position when you got pushed back. But. From this video that you can see from last year, you can see that my you did position. Switch your position. I said, go tweet. The people that burn the flag are weasel little rat weasels. Just take that quote from three minutes. Wait, and did go you tweet it right now? And did you say, not make you the claim that I switched my you position when I got pushed back? Your position, and now you tweet. Wait, now you tweet. My... Now you. So your former position was people that burn the flag are weasel little rat weasels. That's your that's your position. And that Hunter. it's a constitutional right and that I was disappointed oh, in Trump for advocating for that. You leave that part out, first tweet, of all. Now your tweet is, then you change it. If you're okay pledging allegiance to the American flag, by default, you have to be okay with burning the American flag also. Yeah. That's not what you said. You said people burning the flag are 
weaselly little rat weasel. That's not what I said in my tweet. That's I said they were cringy. You changed your position. That yeah. Well, I mean, you've you, so you've the claim was that I changed my position. I'm still defending attack. the first position. All right, and I actually don't think those positions are all that different. Second of all, so you, you can go so back. Would you say it? Mike, did you say right stop. now that people that burn, just say it? Just say no. People it's that burn bothering me because you're not letting me get a word in. You're you're coming say on here. It. No. Say it. Say What's it. a tiff, Mike? Say What's it. a tiff? Please tell me what a tiff is right now. You're doing the would thing, you, okay? Would you Stop. like to know? Dude, just, just, I know what it is. Just, just say you it. Switched. Just say it. Wait. Just but, say it. Just say it. Just say they're Weasley. Do you think you look good in this? Weasley. Do you think you look good in this conversation right now? Like trying to like you, pressure me to say something? Is this how bad you want a concession from me? You recognize <laughs> well, the, the reason you're trying to dwell on this subject is because you realize very, very clearly that the claim you just made has once again been proven false to your face your claim and i have this written down because i know you're going to try to deny it was quote you switched your position when you got pushed back and by me demonstrating that this clip shows that i have the same position then that i tweeted now proves that i did not change my position when i got pushed back second of all the updated tweet why you can did you delete the tweet I already explained because I didn't feel that it properly articulated my, what I wanted to to come uh, to uh, the, the, the message that I wanted to convey. What, what was what? Pro, what sure, what I'll read this to you right here that I that I wrote this out. Okay. Leftists yeah, perceive the flag as representing the country as a whole and oftentimes find a pledge focused on justice for all hypocritical when this country doesn't always fulfill those promises. This is a valid criticism, but burning the flag does not accurately communicate that criticism. When moderates see the flag being burned, they see it as an attack on liberty and justice for all. And in turn, you diminish the potential for growing your movement and appealing to a valuable voter block. Who could agree with you if you communicated your points better? Symbols are only as valuable as what they communicate, and if they are only communicating your point to your own group who are already agree with you, you need a new symbol. This is why ACAB is also a stupid slogan, with a potentially valuable underlying message. Well, can you say that again? ACAB is a stupid oh, slogan? Sorry. Yeah, slogan? I'm pretty sure you believe that, right? Which, Don't you kind of No, agree? not at all. Oh. Not at are, all. Are, are you I sure about, about that? ACAB? Notice how Mike pivots from the entire convo now, now that he hears something else. Like, look at how excited he gets. Like, wait a second. You disagree with ACAB? Now that he thinks he's identified, like, a different area that you could try to beat him over the head with? If Hunter's like really on his feet, he'll try to pull him back, but he might bite. I would bite here because you know that Mike is so dumb at this point that you feel confident enough to take him into any arena and clobber him. But what I said about ACAB was that it's not probably the single best uh, way of appealing to moderate voters, but I would absolutely agree with the content of what it says, which is that police officers exist in our society and what, do they, what function do they serve? But I thought they, that you said to Destiny to that you would never no, say a cab. That's not what I said. I mean, maybe really, maybe, uh, you never said that you wouldn't say a cab because okay, it doesn't back, appeal to back moderates. Twenty nineteen. What back in twenty nineteen? As a politician, what? I wouldn't Wait, say a cab. Uh, and has Bernie your Sanders, posi have your positions Bernie changed Sanders. in the last two years? Wait, no. are you admitting to being what? a grifter again? <laughs> Hold up, buddy. What? I'm gonna what? send this over to you. I, what? So here's, here's I'm gonna send the, this over to you real problem, quick. Okay. Here's the problem with you, Hunter. I like how he did the what thing, but then he realized he was dumb, so he tried to do a parody of the people that parody people like him. <laughs> but it's really weird because it's like he did behavior A, and then there are people B that criticize behavior A. So he tried to parody people B by being person C, who but he's actually doing A, and he's trying to parody the people that parody him when he does the dumb shit. <laughs> there's like there's just like seven level levels of fucking meta irony that we're on right now, and he's actually like satirizing himself somehow like simultaneously making fun of his own stupid shit that he actually just did like two <laughs> seconds ago what the fuck is happening is you're confused about what my position is my position mm -hmm. is not that yeah you i'm can't the one change. who's confused here i got you you're, all right i'm gonna send I, this over to you really quickly dude you're not even you're not gonna let me talk so i need to mute this you. is at the 24 minute so mark. what needs to happen so what needs to happen is i'm gonna, gonna mute you now position. too because people, i need to show this clip can first change people can change people can change that's okay. They can do it. Uh, so are you saying you've changed from 2019 when you said that you wouldn't say ACAB because it would ostracize moderates who could otherwise be on your side, which is literally my position with both ACAB and burning the flag, which it sounds like you already admitted previously that you agree with me there? No, uh, absolutely not. All right. So absolutely I sent you this not. at the 24 minute <laughs> mark. Absolutely okay, not. Check it so out. You, so, you, so the difference is I say that there are positions that you may or may not articulate to certain audiences, depending upon the context. Mm -hmm. However, I absolutely agree with ACAB. And Notice how for Mike here, now the hyper nuance comes out. So for Hunter, you said that it's that flag burning is cringe. Huh, you're basically saying it's illegal. 
But when Mike talks about ACAB, well, in certain circumstances, I could understand that using ACAB might actually be counterproductive in conversations with moderates concerning police behavior, but I still absolutely agree with the fundamental underlying message behind ACAB, so I wouldn't to completely and totally decry ever using this, right? Notice how when it comes to his perspective, now it's time to employ hyper-nuance. But for hunters, it's you're basically the same as Trump, right? And the arguments behind it. And Just it's like an, I, I said, it was a valid argument criticism. that comes that argue. No, that's not what you said. You said that you said some Weasley thing about how uh, people have the right to do it, but it's bad to do it because of this reason. No, I, I said that it's position. inappropriate. And it has reason, bad optics usually, it's not but it's still a constitutional all, right. So we're going to go to the. It, it depend. Okay, we're who are go you to judge optics? We're what? Gonna go to this. Oh, I know. Yeah, coming from you? the optics master himself. Okay. Tiff well, Lord Mike is not good at optics. Mike isn't really good at anything. I'm, I'm actually super curious how he has a decent sized audience. Um, Sully Gnome. I think he could averages like two thousand viewers. Okay, fourteen hundred viewers. This is like a decent sized audience. I'm really curious how. Like, what kind of person listens to somebody like this? Um, he's really dumb. He doesn't. He's 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 not very smart. He doesn't do the optics thing very well. I guess maybe when he's just talking on a stream, maybe he does the optics thing well. Like he plays into like the super storied out, like enraged lefty all the time, I guess. Um, maybe it's literally just the Hassan waiting room thing. Uh, like he, he times all of his streams to where he goes live and then he like logs off like right after Hassan finishes streaming or starts streaming or whatever. Like he times the stream around Hassan and shit. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's just like people watch him before watching Hassan. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's like really weird. The Majority Report hosts him every day. He knows he will get hosted so many times. Wait, did the, does the Majority Report really host him every day? No way. What, what is the they they the Majority Report can't get that many viewers on Twitch. Oh, they do actually get decent viewers. So this shows the majority report going till 6.30. But Mike's streaming for quite a while before they host. I don't think he just waits for the host. Looks like the majority report goes until 6.30 p.m. every day. And Mike starts to stream at around 2 every day. So I don't think hosts from them are necessarily what's helping. I don't agree with that. I don't know who said that in chat. Why did you have the majority report name? Um, oh, we just we had Sam Cedar on one of our shows, and we thought it'd be nice if we grabbed the Twitch account for them and tell them to do a stream. I think we're the ones that told them to dual stream on Twitch, that they should start doing it. We registered you the the majority report Twitch handle because it was open, and we thought someone would nab it during did this call. Did you really? This is kind of funny, though. I, this is some, um, does who does he normally host when he goes offline? Is there a way to see this? Because you can see that every time like Hassan starts streaming, so Mike streams until 7 every day, 6.45, 6.30, 6.45, 6.45, and Hassan tends to go live like 6.30, 6.45, 6.45. <laughs> so as soon as, Hassan goes, uh, as soon as Hassan goes live, he stays on during the intro to Hassan's stream. Oh, as soon as Hassan turns the stream on, Mike starts bleeding viewers. So maybe he stays on during the intro to Hassan's stream for a bit, and then he shuts it off because he sees he's losing viewers, and he doesn't want to overlap with Hassan because he probably sees viewers. Oh, because you see, like, really big dips here. Huh. I Mike never, from PA. I, I know, buddy. to be the optics master, by the way. I'm just asking. That's good, because that would be another people? lie on top of your well, mountain well, of lies well, you've already told. Okay, dude, so let's go you, back to on, this man. one. We've got come your on. I, I melt snowflake shirt on right now. The Real quick. This is a level 27 demon. I should be able to kill this really easily, right? Just protect from magic and fight him? It should be easy. Yeah, you're yeah. a snowflake, dude. And guess what? There are right-wing <laughs> snowflakes and left-wing snowflakes. Sometimes it happens. Shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, dude. Coming from the we guy that argues like a conservative constantly. Wait, Listen, I want you to, <laughs> can you please just click this clip, please? No, no, we should hang out. We should hang out. No, I'm saying? afraid you would you punch my out? couch. Okay, so click, please. <laughs> I'd click something. Um, no, so let me ask Mike, you. Mike, I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. Uh, I'm on I my hands and knees begging you to click this point? clip. No, you can finished I, multiple finish clips. One point, You've made multiple points and I haven't been able to, I'm going to mute you while we look at this clip. Can we look at, so Mike's saying he didn't say this, so let's go ahead and look you at what he said. You need the chance? Wait, what is the chance? Uh, I don't really know. Based on what you said, like in, most, in, in a lot oh, of places in the United States, yeah, of course I would agree with this, for sure. 
And that's but 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 the A cab thing, like you're saying, Mike, do you do, do you say A cab? And I I personally wouldn't because I'm trying to get actual progressive politicians elected, and I recognize that for normies, mm-hmm. A cab is so world shaking, mind bending of a statement oh, to make God. to them that they're going to rebel. Oh, and you know why you that done? is? Are you back? Working no, as yet. a police officer is one of the few okay, remaining jobs. We're still you watching can you do. make my point, but it's okay. mm-hmm from like okay, a okay. poor or middle-class background where they still, get a secure pay, they get benefits. So they probably know some police officers and their okay. family or extended family. Cool. So if I come up to them and say, hey, white person, a cab, I'm probably alienating people that I could win over. That's but all, okay, telling- we both agree then. We're both anti-a cab. Okay, right? yeah. yeah. well, not- so your claim was if I went up to a white person and said, hey, a cab, then I'm alienating people I could win over, which is the exact claim and justification for my initial tweet and why I said that a cab is ultimately a stupid thing. I also agree, by the way, that the police system is corrupt and delivers very racist outcomes and needs to be addressed. I don't so think the proper is, way is, to address okay, so that now, is by screaming a cab. You Holy agree fuck. with me, Mike. And then you know I don't. And you didn't let you you stop you stopped the clip so early because I go on to clarify why it's important to defend a cab as a concept to people. Oh, this is so Oh, when, that's right, because I watched this where you were like trying to have both sides, right? You where you can were like have both sides. You could have both sides. It's called being anti a cab. Well, my point is that's okay. a political strategy. It's a political it's strategy. Important it's important for you to go out there in your audience right here and go. Instead of what you are doing, which is, this is cringe, let's attack the activists, because that's where you made your bones, right? What activists? What you should you? be doing, what, what you should be doing is e- explaining to your audience, who care about politics, hopefully, that what ACAB represents is this, this, and this. So it's a surprising slogan. It's a slogan of the street. It's a slogan of activists. And it's going to surprise a lot of people who grew it's up- It's not the slogan of the street, by the way. It's the slogan of the suburban Twitterites, okay? In the propaganda that if you're in trouble, run to the cops. The cops are there to help you, especially white people from the suburbs. This is who such don't a privileged perspective. Police who don't encounter police that much. If you're from the suburbs and you're white, you're treated differently than I people with this. inside you're the inner again. city. I'm not I preaching. Know this. A I've deba- I've you may know this, but I've the audience exists. My we're, we're audience has heard me to your debate audience. systemic racism repeatedly. I have debated systemic racism. But if you, if you believe in systemic racism, then you should defend things like burning the flag in ACAB. I do defend it, what yes. Were- but you don't have to defend burning the flag if you believe in systemic racism. That is, these two things are totally disconnected from one another. It's a right. And it's, it's people's no, you say right. they're cringe. You say they're cringe. You it's say cringy. It's right. I wouldn't do it, but it's still their right to do it. So coming from the guy that's saying I but can, that's not, that, you're saying that, okay, I can be that, against a cab and pro a cab at the same say, time, but I can't no, say it's cringy, but also no, a right to no, burn the flag. No, give me a no, fucking break. That's dude. not what I said. I wasn't anti a. See, your your ability to comprehend arguments is bad. We just watched the I clip said, where you said I, I would never say a cab. would. First of all, this is a different context, which is November 2019, <laughs> which is well before <laughs> we've had these new movements. Which I've supported Black Lives Matter oh, for literal on. five fucking years. I was out there in the street for Black Lives Matter when it had 20%. Out there in the streets? Come on, Mike. Like, what kind of super sheltered life do you have that you never ran from the cops? Cool virtue signal. That's pools. great. Meanwhile, you've probably pushed signal. more people to the far right than, like, some of these right-wingers with how fucking... True. Being, like, despicable uh, your behavior listen, is. By the way, li- listen to you. This is, this is, listen to you. I have Dude, a question you for you. You are literally a profiter off of attacking people doing kiwi farms as content. I don't care That's what why you, you have say, the Mike. channel you Your have. That's the channel are you have, to me, my dude. It doesn't true. matter, okay? Hey, so I have a be better true, question for bro. you. When you they talk just so about to be true. So do you still agree that when it comes to these things like a cab or burning the flag that like it doesn't matter if you appeal to like moderates? Like do you realize like that that was a claim that, that was a claim that you made in your video that like who cares it does, not everything has to appeal to like the white suburban right. moderates That's which right. I not I, everything does you're right not everything does but some things right. for example movements trying to raise awareness of racial injustice so, should wait wait so you Hunter Avalon fresh from Turning Points USA is going to ca- coach Black Lives Matter how they can appeal you're the I'm one telling to tell you, them. No. So I'm the te- reason, no, no, so no, the people no, no, that are no, stop. on the street You're putting words in my mouth again. or saying a cab or saying Black Lives Matter, they are being actively oppressed and disenfranchised in the society. So and so you- when somebody who understands that, like you claim to, encounters 
people burning the flag and you have an audience of moderate white people, instead of turning and saying, ooh, that's cringe, they shouldn't do that, you should turn to your audience and say, false, you put words in my mouth again, I never said they shouldn't do it. See how you can't make an argument without literally putting words in my mouth? If something is cringe, what is cringe? Is cringe good? Is cringe good for the movement? Uh, no. Can you stop being a weasel and just wait, admit wait, wait. that when I'm, you say something is cringe, you say it's another way of saying it's bad and shouldn't be done? Wrong. That's no. If I say it's cringe, it doesn't so, mean that it shouldn't be done. And it certainly doesn't mean that oh, it should so be made cringe illegal. Things are good. Cringe things are good. What I'm trying to point out to things. you, Mike, when is you the fact that when cringe, you say they're actually we don't, they're dude. good. When I'm saying when you to call you, someone Mike, cringe, they're actually saying that they're good. Okay, gotcha. What I'm saying to you, Mike, is when you make these claims like, who cares if you say a cab or burning the flag and if that alienates people, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I'm telling you that that's a privileged perspective because, of course, I recognize that optics aren't everything. But if you want to garner a movement, you have to communicate those points well. And I think a great example of this is BLM. You see how now that BLM has this national attention because it appealed to moderates and got all of America well, listening. Black Lives Matter we're now was seeing not, actual not policy appeal to moderates. That's this. wrong. Black Lives Matter was, in fact, extremely unpopular with white moderates. Extremely unpopular with white moderates. I mean, nationally, but, though, this, they have moved. That's, that's, hold on. BLM, popularity, country by race. I'm pretty sure at its height, it was popular. Um, Mid-protest, majorities across racial and ethnic groups express support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Long-standing concerns about the treatment of black people in this country. Even Republicans are at 45% for that. The average being 65, averaging between Dems and Republicans. Like, Americans supporting um, support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Among white people, 31% strongly support, 30% somewhat support. 61% 61% of people support it. Like, I, I don't know what Mike is. I, I, don't, I don't know what Mike is talking about, but. The national conversation. And oh, it's not even about. They, but they didn't do it by appealing to, uh, to appealing to white moderates. They did it by getting out on the streets and making demands and being visible. And that movement and caught protesting. the attention of it wasn't many, many people. people it wasn't well, actually... was because white people did it. It was because people of color led a multiracial movement on the street. I'm it saying that for the first time there were moderates that actually were thinking about like systemic racism and having that conversation. So the and moderates did it. The moderates did it. No, but I think that it's important to try and appeal to a large, especially... If we've learned anything over the past like five to ten years, it's that like appealing to moderates is pretty important. I, I think that should be like pretty obvious by now, but a large voting block and yes sorry i know we don't like it but white people are disproportionately in powerful positions to enact change so it's pri- appealing wait, wait, it's to that to a degree <laughs> so the privileged position is the privilege the one that per- says don't care about white opinion that's privileged no that's that is that is the privileged position really like, oh i don't care what some people think like well no if you want to gain support for your movement you kind of have to care it's part of what growing movement is yes Privileged opinion, position is who cares position. about optics, even though by getting more national attention, which in part is done by having more or less decent optics, you shouldn't compromise principles for optics, but by having decent optics, that's how we see real material change for marginalized communities. So what would you say not the material you change getting was? Up on what was, what would not you say by, the material change is for the Black Lives Matter movement? For right example, now? Joe Biden and his infrastructure plan, I believe he's planning on investing billions of dollars in some of these black communities that have been otherwise um, harmed by, I think, previous racist the policies. The plan, which one? The bipartisan one that hasn't passed or the reconciliation bill that hasn't passed? Well, there the was one that made it through so far. The well, future these, is the one that's caused the systemic change. So the, the hypothetical bill that may pass. The First of all, sorry, BLM didn't get dick all done around the country in terms of policy. You can get mad at that all you want, but that's true. The big bipartisan legislature, or the big bipartisan bill moving through the Senate, or the budget reconciliation thing, that does represent real actual change. In fact, from what I read last, a lot of cities were reversing, like, hardcore 180-ing on that quote-unquote defund the police shit that they'd done because violent crime was rising in so many cities. So a lot of cities that previously were like, oh, we're going to defund, are now like, eh, we need like a $200 million fucking budget increase actually because fuck this shit, or $27 million. I'd have to go back and look at the cities or whatever. But um, yeah, this does represent like real systemic actual change um, because BLM did a really shit job at like making an actual declaration of like what kind of things do we want and making actual demands. 
the bill that is literally talking about systemic racism because of movements like the one that didn't pass the george floyd it it hasn't not passed it i I thought it's still going through is it still it hasn't passed it hasn't passed yet because they're going to filibuster it Okay, what I'm saying is that your perspective doesn't lead to actual change. What about your perspective? It didn't achieve any change according to your it's metrics. Closer. No we actually ha- Hold on. We actually have legislation and now administration. I wonder if Mike is going to walk this. Also, isn't that $3.5 trillion? Isn't that the um, isn't that the bipartisan one? Isn't it more or less agreed upon now? Or are they still going back and forth on that? Or is it they have to figure out if they can get it through, through uh, reconciliation? Is that what the wait is right now? that's constantly trying to pass legislation to ameliorate some of these issues with trying to pass legislation yes that's a lot better than burning the american flag and your privileged ass advocating for it because who cares what anyone else thinks about this you're a white guy where do you live right now i'm not telling you shit what are you trying to so cringe how like and it sucks too because as somebody that comes from like certain backgrounds it's so obvious when mike is like hardcore posturing like when he's on a stream saying shit like what kind of privileged lives did you guys leave where none of you ever none of you guys ever ran from the police before like mike dude no offense but you were like the whitest motherfucker in the world like you're the kind of guy that would get lost in a target on the wrong side of town and you'd never ask for help because all the employees are black and you're scared to talk to them because you think that they speak in rap music mike like you're honest to god you were one of the whitest fucking people on this platform i cannot believe that you would try to pull the where do you live card on somebody else here like jesus christ dude pump your brakes slow the fuck down shut the fuck up so you live in a white suburb and you've always and you grew up in a white suburb right did you no why are you trying to invalidate me i I grew up i grew up and i grew up in military bases all over my all over the world i'm not from a white suburb just as a just as an fyi for people that like hear like military base and you think like oh shit you literally grew up like fucking rocky you were like fucking rambo dude dorms or um they don't call them dorms uh, barracks like housing depending on like the rank of your family or whatever can be like super fucking cushy okay a lot of bases are actually pretty fucking nice right I, like i spent a lot of time when i was younger because my family were air force and i had a military dependent id i spent a lot of time going to the base because you could buy shit at the commissary for pretty cheap you don't have to pay fucking sales tax on anything there's usually like a ton of shit to do on base you've got like pool halls you've got places to mess around in they're pretty safe um hopefully i'm not talking shit but like i've never heard of like there being like crime and shit on base you're not gonna get shot there's not gonna be like gang shit like bases are pretty fucking nice places to be okay um like I, no, I'm sorry, Mike, but your mom was literally like a fucking state senator for like five years. Like, why are you acting like you had some like hard fucking life? Do you still have that ID? Yeah, I think it's in a box somewhere. My little military dependent ID. Um, you have a family, you get basic housing assistance and live nice. People get married super early to live in nice housing. The military bases for families are legit. Yeah, like also, I, now I don't know for Mike's take though. My understanding is that if you have a family, you can, and I'm talking shit because I don't know 100%. My understanding is that if you have a family, you can actually get a stipend, I think, to live off base. So you can actually just live in a suburb near your base. Because I think down in, um, for people that live in like Iowa or Nebraska, I think down in Bellevue, I think there are neighborhoods that are like military neighborhoods where people from Offit can just go and live and you get paid money like from the, the I think in Offit, I think it would have to be Air Force, but you, you get paid money to live off base, like in a suburb. I'm not saying that happens all the time, but like, the way that Mike is presenting this is like, I was a military brat. I lived in a goddamn military. I didn't live in the suburbs, kid. I'm from a goddamn military base. You don't know what the fuck my life was like. We ate gunpowder for breakfast. We woke up in the morning at 5 a.m. at the crack of dawn. We were running drills from 6 to 9 a.m. We threw up twice a day. Like, he's acting like he's got like the hardest fucking upbringing. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, oh my God. So wrong. Try again. I didn't say you were. You were the one that made yes, that claim, you did. You asked okay. me all question. You said I was privileged, and I asked I, you. Dude, there is so much military shit that like nobody knows. It's military shit is like taxes. Where like if you're in the military, you can say some crazy dumb shit, and a lot of people just don't know, right? Like if you say some shit like I worked in an intel in the military. Oh shit, you worked in intelligence. Like 
damn, you must know like some crazy shit. Like, yeah, you know, what could I say? You know, I worked in intelligence. Like that might literally just mean that you got like a fucking, like a basic fucking clearance to go watch like one fucking satellite in one fucking area. You don't know dick all about literally anything. Like people act like they had, like I was in the military. Like I got fucking like, dude, shut the fuck up. Come on, man. Like fucking half of military jobs are basically civilian jobs anyway. Like get the fuck out of here with that shit. Jesus Christ, this is fucking cringe as fuck. Did you grow up in a white suburb? And you said, did that's you? not the privilege part. The, answer the is privilege part is you, Mr. Streamer Boy, saying, who cares if we appeal to moderates when appealing to a broader audience is crucial for actually getting material change done? You don't so care about that. What, you so care about you LARPing wanted, to your so audience. There, and that's why you've that gone have, back. The real question, too, is where was Mike? Now, I don't know if I don't know if my mom was just trying to scare me, but Mike talking about like when I grew up, you guys didn't run from the police. Now, I heard a lot of shit growing up. And one of the things that I heard a lot was military shit is different than normal shit. If you want to run your mouth and fuck with cops and do that shit and get a YouTube video, that's fine. I personally would never fuck with military police. You do not fuck with the MPs. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. But my mom would always tell me, like, if you run from the MPs, you might get shot in the fucking back. They don't fuck around with you. Um, you, you. You do not fuck around with military police. They have training. They will kick your ass. And they don't deal with any shit. And I'm pretty sure that, like, the rights that you have on a base is way fucking different than, like, than the rights that you have, like, dealing with normal police. That's what I was told. I don't know how true that is. But, like, I wouldn't fuck around with military police. That shit seems scary as fuck to me. So I'm really curious. When Mike was talking about, like, you guys didn't run from the police growing up, were you running from the police on base? Were you trying to outrun MPs on base? Because getting in and out of those things, well, it was probably easier. It was easier back in the day. It's really hard to get on and off bases now. Um, but I I'm, I'm curious what he meant by that. On everything you, you ever said. read Martin Luther King's letter from the Birmingham jail? All of the. Oh my God. I think we finally read this whole thing on stream, didn't we? Because so many people misquote and miscited talk about this fucking letter. Holy shit. Growing up, did you sometimes see MPs with rifles just at the store? It was kind of weird seeing that growing up. So my experience was, and I don't, again, be careful. I always try to give disclaimers, even though people say I talk out of my ass anyway. Uh, this might have just been my experience growing up. Um, and maybe it was different in different bases. My experience was before 9-11, you'd like drive up, you'd flash a military ID and they'd look at it and be like, yeah, go. And it was chill. Everything was chill. After 9-11, there were like fucking 30 barricades that you had to swerve your car around. They would pull off sometimes to check people's shit. Like the military security on bases, I th at least in, at Offutt in Omaha, well, Bellevue, got way more hardcore after 9-11 in terms of there being like posted guards in places and like how like kind of on edge people were. Um, but I wasn't, I didn't go on base much after I turned like probably 19 or 20 or 21. So I, maybe it chilled out afterwards, but. Um, Have you read that before? Do you know I what I'm know, talking about? I do know what you're talking about. What does he say in it? What he says he white say moderates. The white moderate. Oh, back to the white moderates. Back to the white moderates. Always, oh, it's always the white moderates. I partially blame you for the white moderate MLK thing for people like Bad Money because you referenced that a long time ago referring to white moderates and it was real clean. Oh my God. Uh, it's always. I don't know what I wrote about this. It might have just been about protesting, but. Um... What? Why do websites do this? Hold on. Okay, sorry. Bad. That's why we want to reach no, out to those people. No, he doesn't say white No, no, no. That's no, why we no, want to no. reach out to those people and try to get he them said on that your he's side, come Mike. To the regrettable conclusion that the white moderate is a bigger, bigger stumbling block to progress. So how do you get rid of the white moderate? Planner or the white citizens? How do you get rid of the white moderate? Please tell me. And the guy who says to wait for a more convenient season and to quiet down. Uh huh. It's so what do you do with the white moderates? What, how should you do of, that? How should you reach those people? Should you just so kill them? You should you just ignore them? What do you so do? I, the reason why I brought up that Martin Luther King quote for you, where he talks about how the white moderates are the bigger stumbling block to progress than the Ku Klux Klaner and the white citizens counselor is because of exactly what's happening here. You are out there going, it's cringe to burn the flag. Don't. And, and the thing is, the energy for these movements is on the street. It's a multiracial movement. And the people burning the American flag and saying ACAB it may not appeal as a politician. It may not be a great message to win national office. But if you are a, a you're not a politician, you're an online influencer. That's what to, you are also, Mike, by the way. I don't know if you, but. You're not, so who the fuck are you? Why are you trying to believe? Mike, you're literally an online influencer. Like, what are you talking about? That's literally what you are.
Also, MLK, yeah, MLK's entire fucking life and strategy was devoted to shifting the opinions of moderates. What, like, what, like, why do you, MLK is probably the most, like, abused, I don't know who gets abused more in terms of people trying to claim their shit. It's either MLK or Orwell. Um, Jesus, fuck. These people, you should be out there educating to more of your white everyone. moderates. I'm trying to talk to you, you be... about your position and our, my position. That's my position it. You're the one is very clear. To my position is very clear. You're the one calling it cringe. Now, when you when you call something cringe, you're going to back away and say, "Well, I don't actually mean to say that it's bad. I just mean to say that it's bad optics." So and people used here. to say people used to say that when you were still a right winger, they were saying that that about Black Lives Matter. Did you make any videos about Black Lives Matter? Multiple, yep. And I made a video debunking my old video on Black Lives Matter that used to be anti BLM. So you said that BLM was one. what? So could you could you explain to everybody what your arguments used to be about BLM? Why yeah. would you ask somebody to do that? Go and say what you used to say that you don't believe in anymore. Why would you hold somebody to that? Why would you try to make somebody do that? I'm not going to Why do not? that. Because Why I, not? Because I've just looked up uh, Why are you Joe cowardly? Biden's $2 trillion infrastructure plan, and it does have a lot of interesting uh, intention on trying to solve... You understand that a plan is not a law, right? Do you realize that a plan is a lot closer from our current president Bernie Sanders in our legislation, too. right? That doesn't you mean realize, that they're reality. But you realize Why would you compare a Bernie Sanders pie-in-the-sky plan, a candidate that you supported with wholeheartedly and lost, to something that is, like, on the verge of finally making it through the Senate? Like... A lot closer than whatever the fuck you're advocating for. So it's I'm not advocating. I just want to make this very clear. Like I'm not right now. I just want to make this very clear. Like I'm not advocating for who's talking about any Bernie planning. What do you mean they're both dead? Wait, hold on. I need to check. Did I miss something? Infrastructure plan. Like where is it at right now? Democrats reach deal on 3.5 trillion dollar price tag for infrastructure bill. Oh wait. So then th wait. Hold on. If the, if if this is greenlit by reconciliation, then it's as, it's, I don't want to say this yet, but it's basically as good as passed, right? Because then they only need 50 votes to do it. If they can do it via budget reconciliation, they just have to make sure that Selmia, I always forget her fucking name, and Manchin are on board. Um, then it, or Cinema, sorry, I always fuck her name up. Then this is basically good to go, right? Assuming there are no Democrats opposed to it. Senate Democrats want to bring the bipartisan infrastructure bill to the floor as soon as the next week. The negotiators have warned this is an ambitious pace. Democrats didn't say on Tuesday night what specifically will be ready to do the budget floor. <clears throat> Democrats declined to say on Tuesday night if they had unified support. Hmm. So it's still like it being cooked up. Senate Joe Manchin and Christian, sorry, Christian Cinema, who aren't on the panel, have signaled that they are open to using reconciliation to pass a larger Democrat only infrastructure bill in addition to the bipartisan package they're currently negotiating, but they haven't endorsed a specific price tag. Manchin previously suggested to ABC News that he was interested in a smaller figure, saying that if $1 trillion, $1 $1.5 or $2 trillion, whatever that comes out to over a 10 year period, that's what it'd be. Don't be a loser, dude. Just fucking, aren't you, how old is this guy? Just fucking back one based thing and then fucking moonwalk out, you fucking loser. You're 73 years old, okay? Fuck off. You're not, are you even, is he running? again come on dude you gotta have enough money saved up don't cuck us out of a trillion fucking dollars on an infrastructure plan for your constituents fuck you the fuck out of here we'll see i guess maybe in a week we'll see what where we're at electability politics i'm advocating for electability politics and i think that sometimes you have to make compromises if Correction, you Mike yourself PA, brought up. Is it perverting MLK? No. Fuck these losers. A $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure deal senator struck with President Joe Biden is at risk of selling out as Republicans mount stiff resistance over ways to pay for it and momentum shifts to a more robust Democratic proposal that should come into focus soon as Tuesday. Fuck it. Find out what you can do via reconciliation and leave the Republicans behind on it. When Americans are getting their fucking checks in the mail, when we're investing heavily in the working class, hopefully we can point to that in midterms and say, by the way, Republicans didn't vote for any of this shit. Fuck them. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Fuck, I hope. Oh, shit, you yourself I know brought up about. MLK like talking. Here. Hold on. You yourself brought up MLK talking about the white moderate. Now, I agree. The white moderate, the person that doesn't think there's these big issues to talk about, they're annoying. They're fucking, they are. They they can be a disservice. So you have to reach those so this people. Is what, okay. So you this have is, to reach those disgusting. people, Mike. This is disgusting stuff because Black Lives Matter, when you were attacking it, was saying the same stuff they're saying now. And the difference was people rose up because they saw things like the George Floyd murder. And that After was a, that, that was a, 
that was the one thing too far. And they didn't come out and they didn't, it didn't cause people to come out on the streets because they stopped suddenly saying ACAB or they stopped saying defund the police. By the way, it was a movement. Defund the police or abolish the police. Well, actually, the ACAB shit and the defund the police did actually hurt a lot of the momentum that BLM had. In a way, it sounds kind of gross to say it, but even other politicians echoed it. Um, they were lucky that like the George Floyd stuff happened because it gave them a ton of stuff to like mount their movement and momentum off of. Because if it didn't, like people were not buying into that ACAP shit. People weren't buying into that defund the police shit. Like it wasn't the big winner that, you know, people thought it would be. That rose up during the George Floyd protest, during the Black Lives Matter protest. The okay, so I have a question. Then. Swung toward them, I, even though they were more radical than they were when they started. But this every is, time it gets more radical, support starts to swing away. Anytime there are riots, support starts to swing away. Um, the defund the police and the ACAP shit during all of the uh, midterms or whatever, not the midterms, during the presidential election, cost Democrats so many more House seats than they thought was possible. And like they're getting calls from their constituents literally about these particular things. Oh, no. Hold on. I might have to go. <laughs> Master, I might have to go all out just this once. Did like, uh, oh, did your doctor um, uh, diagnose you, right? Would you have asked that right. we, uh, accept, accepted on, on face value? Okay, I'm, I guess this person has cancer um, and treat them accordingly if they wanted to be treated differently. Hello. Um, okay, I hear this come up a lot um, in your conversation with Mike. And um, I just wanna have like a, like a two second chat about this. Um, okay. I, so I noticed that you've said this a few times in your... Uh, Am I in trouble, Destiny? No, okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I've done dumb shit in my past. I've said dumb shit. I don't really care. Um, so when I ask you these questions, I'm not trying to, like, hang you on anything or, like... Oh, shit. Bring, yeah, okay. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just... I'm genuinely just curious, okay? And I understand that your past views are your current views or anything, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Did, did you ever at one point believe that, like, Jews were in control of, like, the world hegemony and, like, trying to, like, kind of breed out white people with immigration and stuff? No. And that's... I, I watched a little bit of your review. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in the assumption that you're talking about how I never really called out Mike properly for referring to me as alt-right? Yeah, and you seem to own that you used to be that label. I don't ever say that you were alt-right. You were never alt-right. Um, people on the left do this weird thing where they conflate every single fucking conservative with alt-right, but mm -hmm. alt-right, and it's especially cringe, um, especially when, I don't know how much you've watched, but Mike was playing fast and loose with so many definitional games with you. First of all, you were clearly a sock dem, okay? Sock dems yeah. clearly utilize capitalism. The idea that a sock dem wants to transition to a social state, I don't know if Mike actually made this mistake, but what he was thinking was, was a democratic socialist. A dem sock and a sock dem are doing everything. Sock dems are liberals. You're absolutely a sock dem, or at least from what you said on that. Um, number one. Number two, right. Calling you an alt-writer that goes to a Turning Point USA event is comically misinformed. Alt-writers, like gripers, fight so much with Turning Point, with Charlie Kirk. You can literally go on YouTube and find videos of like Fuentes' gripers trying to troll Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA events. Like they hate each other. They absolutely fucking right. hate each other. Yeah, the new age, like traditional conservatives and the alt-writers, they fight hardcore because alt-writers feel like they don't have enough emphasis on things related to like Jewish conspiracies, like white genocide. Right. Um, yeah. I was in that. I was attacked as conservative ink mm -hmm. for a little while as, I don't know if you, if you remember that, but yeah, it was the conservative ink thing. Mm -hmm. They were kind of yeah. I remember watching the, the them going after the uh, the TP USA event. Yeah, I guess I I definitely in hindsight there are like a fucking million things that I wish that I had done differently. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't know. I was I was more focused on trying to get to the to the point, and then I think in that in my hastiness, I kind of overlooked some of the other bullshit he was saying. Mm -hmm. But like so much of what he was saying was bu was bullshit and he was like gish galloping like in like yeah. Like, yeah, I mean you did a really good job. You didn't even need to do that well cuz you had so many links to just like obviously show that he's full of shit and lying and wrong or whatever. Um which so it was really well done. I'm surprised cuz Mike's a pretty slippery uh worm. I guess is their insult Thanks. of the week, so um, yeah, but I would just say like in the future, don't, don't ever say that you were alt-right. You've never been alt-right. And anytime a left-leaning person starts to like use alt-right to describe all conservatives, um, they just don't know enough about that political space to provide any like valuable insight into it. Tell them to just shut the fuck up and talk about something they're more comfortable talking about. Um, that's yeah. a good point.
Yeah, I, I almost w- I almost want to have another debate with Mike, but I don't know if it would be worth it. You, if you sh- if you could, you should. My guess is going to be that Mike won't ever talk to you again, though, um, because his performance was really bad, and I think most people recognize it as such. And most of the attacks he has against you are entirely fabricated. They're like not even really based that much in reality. Uh, but if you want yeah. to, you should definitely try. But I, my prediction is he'll ignore you for now. And if you start tweeting him a lot, he'll just block you. I don't think I'll ever talk to you again. <laughs> bummer i mean he i watched all your debates that you did with him like Mm -hmm. multiple times so that i i honestly feel like that may have helped me be a little more prepared also because the day that i ended up debating him that same day i was i was actually listening through a bunch of um your one debate with him the three hour long the about him pivoting Mm -hmm. and um i was looking for various different clips Mm -hmm. of things like because i knew that there were contradictions uh, because i'd remembered the stuff that he'd said to you so i think that that may have helped a little bit also and just helping me be a little more prepared for him but Mm -hmm. he's still uh, the one thing that i fucked up the most on for sure is i let him interrupt me too much and that was solely my fault because i i second guessed myself because i used to have a problem and i still kind of do have a problem where i like interrupt people too much mm-hmm. and so when i was going to like cut in and then he was like stop you 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 keep interrupting me i shouldn't have let him get away with that but then in my head i was kind of like ah oh, shit what have i been maybe i have been interrupting like a lot cuz it's it, ha- it was like a really intense conversation. So yeah, I, don't I think know. there's I think there's the rhetorically effective way to deal with that. This is what I've done in a few debates. I wish I had examples on hand, but usually what I'll do is if somebody is like running down a point and I disagree and I want to interrupt them, I'll let them finish, and then when they finish, I'll say, okay, that didn't have anything to do with my point, so I'm going to ask this question again. I think if you keep like <clears throat> yank them back, grab them by the collar, and yank them back to that first point, just if they want to ramble for a while, you can let them ramble. But coming back to your initial question and then repeating it, I think is a really effective way of showcasing that they're trying to pivot. Like, um, I, I, I don't know if you directly caught it, but you were definitely talking so much like towards it and around it and about it that you kind of hit on it, even if by accident. But like Mike's initial claim about you was that you went to a conservative conference and attacked trans people. That was the initial right. claim made in the tweet. And by the time you guys had talked about it for five minutes, he changed that to, he said, well, I justified my tweet, but what he justified was that you released a YouTube video around that same time having an opinion on a trans issue that might not have even been attacking trans people. Right? His, and he's saying his initial claim was justified when his new claim is actually so much weaker than the initial one. It's hilarious, but he's still trying to, yeah. So like he, he'll do like a lot of like dumb shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. I was also surprised to hear that um that you didn't know about the the mom thing that he ran against the same <laughs> I candidate. Did. I didn't actually. That was, know that. That was really I funny. was looking up cuz I mean I I don't know I I may have accidentally doxed him when I showed his name on Oh no, yeah. Game. I honest to god when I listened to your video in the beginning I actually cringed a little bit because I like trying to have a serious conversation and like making a your mom joke out of nowhere was like really cringy to me. I didn't know that his mom had actually fucking run though. I didn't know that that like was a real thing. So when I actually yeah. looked at about it, I was like, oh my God, he actually changed his party to run against the guy that beat his mom. That's actually funny as fuck. I didn't actually know that until later on in the video I looked up. Yeah. I probably should have worded it a little better because I said BTFO your mom, which I guess sounded like It sounds your like you're just making joke. like a your mom joke. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, it was actually a real thing. That's funny. But okay. Well, cool. Well, I really appreciate the advice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, good luck on everything. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you saw it on my stream, but Ammo for the Future. Oh, my God. Oh, there was one huge contradiction where you could have just nailed into the wall on it that I was so curious. He, in like two breaths, he goes from saying, mm-hmm. why don't you delete every single video on your YouTube to make good on everything right now? To two sentences later being like, why did you delete your tweet on Twitter that you disagreed with? <laughs> It's actually a total contradiction of his position. You, what you could have responded is like, wait, I thought you said you wanted me to delete my stuff that I didn't agree with anymore that I found harmful. Because I don't know how he would have reconciled those two positions. Because he spent like half the video criticizing you for not deleting your stuff fast enough, but then when you did delete something that you disagreed with, now all of a sudden he wanted to attack you on that. It was completely contradictory. Um, he would also call me like a rat or be like, he pussied out when I deleted. Yeah. Oh, he does. He's like He's like very like insecure about his masculinity and shit. So he uses a lot of like verbiage like that. Like... He's like the like he's the beta man's alpha man basically is what it's like what a beta thinks an alpha I don't believe in that shit but I'm saying that's essentially how he postures himself like what does a really confident masculine male do you know he screams and talks and tells people they're rats and talks about how much of a pussy they are right like it's that kind of shit he really yeah he postures like so badly it's and I don't know I almost wish that someone would make a video like analyzing him because I don't know if he's like ill 
if he has like a uh, like just social issues or if he's just like was he just pampered his whole life and he's just narcissistic he, and confidently stupid like yeah, i don't i genuinely don't a know a lot of that oh yeah fuck he pulled on um th there is so much shit he pulled a fast one when you were like did you grow up in the suburbs and he was like i was a military brat i grew up on an army base as somebody that's a military dependent that spent a lot of time on army bases when i was a kid that's a fucking bullshit okay number one just because you're a military brat that doesn't mean you live on base okay you can get an you can get an mm. allowance or a stipend to live off base and those are real cushy suburbs because they're fucking military suburbs number one and number two some bases are really cushy okay if you're a military dependent you go to base there's a lot of places to go and have fun you go buy shit for fucking cheap at the commissary like it's like a not, it's not a bad place to be okay right um, exactly. yeah so him trying to say like i grew up on a military base he like he's trying to sell the impression and i understand because a lot of people don't know anything about the military but he's trying to sell this impression that he like grew up and like did like fucking firearms training at 8 a.m hand-to-hand -hand combat training at 9 a.m like running from the military police at 10 a.m like he's like this hard-ass motherfucker he grew up on a cushy fucking suburban middle-class base bullshit that it was like some hard experience it's so stupid he is i i don't know it's it's hilarious i think the guy's just really insecure and it's just i don't i i don't know maybe we might not ever know Maybe it'll be a forever mystery. Yeah. The, um, one other thing that he said that I thought was funny, this is a clip you should destroy him in the future. Um, he goes after you so much for being harmful and for like trying to protect your channel and not deleting every single video immediately or whatever. There's a really funny clip floating around of him where he's talking with another streamer about whether or not they should talk about promoting mutual aid. And he just outhandedly says, he's like, I'm not going to do mutual aid streams. I'm going to lose all my viewers if I do it. Nobody's going to want to watch me if I talk about mutual aid. And even the guy that he's talking to is like, dude, what the fuck? And then even his <laughs> chat starts roasting him over how much of like a grifting fuck that he is when he says that and he ends up he like dmcas that clip off the internet like anytime he sees it it's really funny but that's fun yeah i wish i could have brought that up it's so funny because it, it's I, I think you were the one that said that how it's like the ultimate like shower thoughts because it's always after the debate that i'm like oh fuck i could have said this or oh i could have made a better point there mm -hmm. or i could have been way more rhetorically effective here but i don't know i'm just trying i'm just kind of trying to learn but overall it was like I said, it made for really good content, and it was a, a lot of fun talking to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. All right, cool. Well, I'll probably uh, talk to you again on the hippy dippy thing. Okay. Have one. Be careful. Stay safe. Okay. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. Cringe.